me. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I changed the hi everyone. All right, Michael, Peyton, Cameron, <laughs> Juan, Hermit, Tiger, Tiger D. D. Lily, Sayers, the same purpose. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, so yeah, we are going to get started. I'm going to open this for myself. Okay, I'm going to open this for myself. This is for your friend Cards with Michael. Okay, this is for me. Um, feel free to ask me any questions about Flesh and Blood. And, um, Oli, you're a little loud. Okay, sorry, Cameron. I figured it's better for me to be a little loud than to be, um, like, not loud enough. All right, so we're just going to open this box for myself. This box was a little dinged up, as you can see. It took some damage, so I figured we'd just, you know, end it of its misery. And, uh, and kind of just get the chat, you know, warmed up. For some openings tonight. Tonight's gonna be a bit of a shorter stream. I can't go too long tonight, but it'll be fun. What is better, flesh or blood? Um, probably blood if you had a pick, I guess. And I, I don't know. That's a really tough question. Yo, hey, what's up, Squatch? Hope you get some spicy spice. Yeah, dude. I hope so too. Here we go. Pack number one. We have our foils. A foil rare, Phantasm. Okay. First foil. Aether Iron Weave. Captain's Call and a Tremor of Irathiel. Right. Pack number one. And we gotta get the, the old sleeves out. Right. Is it alright if I sponsor? Yeah, of course. Sponsor some stuff. I'm just getting us warmed up because I got a late start today. I, I just put up a sponsor form literally like like in, like 30 minutes ago so i want to give everyone some time to see if there's anything interesting open this box up for fun and uh yeah okay sounds good rising solar tide okay hey baby there's only two zender cards I only have two Zendikar collectors, I had to go let Leslie know. Is there another real life FN, FNB weekend for you? No, um, there's some errands that I have to run and tomorrow we're grabbing like breakfast tomorrow. So, I gotta, I gotta be awake early. Way earlier than usual. Right, here we go. Iron Hide Legs, Seeping Shadow, and yes! Dimensional Crossroads, nice! So I'm trying to build Shadow Rune Blade. So this is one of the Majestics that I'm looking for. I'm also looking for Shadow of Urser and I'm looking for Invert Existence. So I want as many Shadow Rune Blade Majestics as possible in this box. Right? Thank you, Cameron, for the big sponsorship. What's up, Gabe? Does Michael always wear shorts? I don't think I've seen him in pants. I wear pants just very rarely, especially when I'm at home, if that makes sense. I don't like wearing pants. When I am at home. These are my boxes, Timmy. These are my loose boxes. I don't like the idea of selling loose boxes, so I just opened them for myself. Here we go. We have a cross the line. Oil. Ironhide helm. Helping is our rare and a vexing malice blue. Okay. A cracked bobble action. Nice. Nah, man, I feel you. After winter, it's all shorts. Dude, yeah, exactly. After winter, it's all shorts. I mean, even during winter, I was wearing shorts. <laughs> Get that Majestic Minerva. There is no Majestic Minerva, but I know exactly what you mean. There's some pretty waifu cards in this set. Um, though none of them are particularly valuable. All right, here we go. I know I want you to pull yourself gas, my brother. Yeah, dude, let's pull some gas. Just getting warmed up today. Oh, a foil rare, Vexing Malice. All right, highly playable foil. Ironhide Gauntlet, that's our equipment. And our double rares is a Rithing Beast Hulk and a Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell. What a 
What a name. What a name. All right. Leave that up. And we keep going. Next pack. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Short still qualifies so much fabric. Gotta let it all breathe. Okay, so I would do that, but Twitch would ban me, so, you know. The moment I get up, it's the ruse is gone, you know? All right. Schedule link is outdated. Okay, let's update it. By the way, thanks for the super fast shipping. I got myself in time to play it tonight. Nice! No hot tub streams for Michael. <laughs> Is that a real thing? People doing hot tub streams? By the way, if if you're interested in the playmat that I have, um, I got this playmat for free from Mongoose Gaming Co. And all they asked was basically that I talk about it. And so here I am talking about it. I actually really liked it. And the owner of it, or one of the co-owners, is a friend of mine. So there is that plug. I don't want to plug it too hard. It's just a play mat. They're charging $35 for it shipped in the US. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I think it's a pretty play mat. It's a nice little generic play mat. Um, all the play mats in Flesh and Blood are like promos. So... They're all like expensive, <laughs> so it's nice to have access to cheaper play mats. All right, here we go. Nice, I'm so glad. The scroll through just chatting. It's infested with hot tub streams. I don't really want, <laughs> not want, not want. Um, speaking of just chatting, what type of stream am I right now? I should be just chatting because I'm definitely not magic or Pokemon. Let me just make sure. Okay, I am just chatting. Great. Chatting. That is what I should be. All right, next pack. Here we go. Let's go. If you open any number of boxes of uh, any of these sets, you'll pretty much get all the commons and, and most of the rares you need. So that's why I don't really care about the, the commons and the rares most of the time. I'm really just looking for the Majestics. Double rare Herald of Triumph token. It's a clean design, which is nice. Yeah, it is. I don't know. It's just a nice, like, generic design. It's not designed to be, like, super flashy. It gets the job done. You can bring it over to, like, an event and do stuff. Have a good night. Hope you pull some great cuts. Just want to pop in and say hi. Okay. Hey, have a great night. Thanks for popping in. All right. Um, we do have some Pokemon on deck. I think we're going to start off with Pokemon today. So if you did get, uh, any of the, um, Black Jet, Silver Lance stuff, just let me know in the chat and we'll probably start off with that. Um, actually I needed that on Hollowed Rites. Nice. I'll start off with that and then we'll go to our case opening of Flesh and Blood Monarch and then we'll do some magic. That's kind of the, the rough plan that I have today. It's all subject to change depending on when stuff fills and whatever, but yeah. Anything hot? No, we only got one Majestic so far. Oh, there's a cold foil. No, it's an Ironhide Gauntlet. Probably one of the least valuable cold foils. The centering on this is actually decent. Wait, this is actually an amazing quality cold foil. It only has that one edge issue or corner issue. Well, that's actually impressive. For cold foils so only have one corner issue and decent uh decent um that's probably the best cold foil i've seen so far in monarch oh to me so sad yeah you can build a lot of decks if you just have all the commons and rares especially a wtr Right, here we go. There's our cold foil and iron hide gauntlets. The worst box I've opened so far. The worst cold foil I've opened so far, I guess. Halo and our rares. Ooh, a Genesis. Nice. I do want to potentially build Prism. There's two flavors of Prism, and Genesis is one of the flavors. Literally. It's the reason to play auras. Alright. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, next pack. Here we go. The 
The grid marks on the playmats? Uh, yeah, the grid marks on the playmat is are really for flesh and blood, like, zones. That's what they're, they're mainly for, so... <laughs> Give me with the, the worry. Alright, here we go. Ray of Hope. Stubby Hammerers. Out Muscle. Can we get another Majestic? It's been a while. No, just a double rare pack. Alright, not gonna lie, this box so far has been a bummer. That's okay. It's okay. Michael with cards. What's up, Ali? It's been a bit. I haven't seen you in chat in a while. Alright, here we go. Okay, we got a foil here. Foil Herald of Rebirth, Ironhide Helm, Endless Maw, and a Seek Horizon Red Pitch. That card is going to go into Azalea for show. For show. You want to dominate some red in the ledgers? That's what you got to play. Ah, uh, I didn't realize it was a Flesh and Blood. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, the guy who made these is a big Flesh and Blood fan, and one of the reasons why he decided to start a company that just sells Flesh and Blood playmats is Flesh and Blood playmats are all pr promos right now, so it's really hard to get affordable ones. And so, yeah, that's what he did. All right, here we go. Adrenaline Rush, the Brocade, Dusk Path, and a Glisten. All right, all right. Take it. Um, Really, really hoping. So, I... Just want a lot of Majestics in this box. That That's my main goal, uh, especially of the Shadow Runeblade variety. I don't plan on playing Shadow Brute, so I don't really care for any Shadow Brute Majestics. I just want the Shadow Runeblade ones. All right? That's the goal, guys. That's the goal. I know Leviah looks cool. Here we go. Oh yeah, Red Riot Games has has affordable playmats as well. But take flight, all right? That's that's what you need for Bolton. Listen, the Herald of Triumph. I'm not saying Leviah's not cool. I just it's not my style. It's not my style. That's all. I don't know how this gameplay shows one day. Says Ken. Um, I have. I've done streams where I show me playing um it's just hard to show on the fly okay got an enigma chimera dream weavers and endless maw oh my gosh this box please okay we got to get the bad boxes out of the way right so far we're halfway through the box two majestics one cold foil common all right Leviathan's not, I guess she's a vampire, but she's more of a brute. And I don't like the random nature of brutes. Alright, here we go. Let's see, we got ourselves a Enigma Chimera foil. Dreamweavers and a Majestic, please? No! No! Alright. That is that is the way of the world. Alright. It's coming? Alright, let's hope. Let's hope. Okay, here we go. Another Enigma Chimera, Time Skippers, and a Majestic. Hey, Sonata Arcanix, Yanji, we we got one. You're around. We were testing Sonata Arcanix yesterday, and we didn't have a second one, so we literally proxied it. I think we were using Dimensional Gateway or something. Uh, Sonata's not that good. At least so far in Shane, but in some like, like, uh, room in Viserai, it's actually decent. So, that is our third Majestic of the box. Happy to see a third Majestic. I would like to see another Cold Foil. And I would like to see like five more Majestics. <laughs> Honestly. I want like a lot of Majestics. All right, here we go. Here we go. We have a Blood Tribute foil. Apparently they're different in the Unlimited version via the Vanguard Prismatic Shield. I actually like the Unlimited version of uh, Blood Tribute more. Next pack. Hey Francis, yes, we are doing battles. Time Spiral and Commander Legends Draft. 
Yo, Michael, shout out from Brooklyn. Hey, Sander, I remember you. I didn't get any cold foils in my packs. I didn't get any cold foils in my packs either, Sander. I didn't get any cold foils in those pre-release packs we picked up. We got a rip through reality, hooves. One majestic, yes! Guardian of the Shadow Realm, dang it. I have this majestic already. That is a duplicate, I already have a play set of that one. All right, no problem, we keep going. Next. <laughs> Wait, you're opening unglued? That is uh, a vibe I get from a lot of these shadow cards, Paul. Paul, thanks for supporting us, by the way. All right, Commander Legends is getting scarce, which is great. I have a lot of draft boosters. All right, Herald, Ebb Unfold, Parable of Humility, and a Howl from Beyond. Okay, all right. Next. Hey Michael, just opened the box I got from you. So much fun, thank you. You're welcome, Aiden. Thanks for letting me know that you got it. You've put it out of its misery as well, it looks like. Here we go. We have an unworldly bellow. The gauntlet. Come on, majestic. No, a rare. Dimensional gateway. Alright. That is that. On to the next. Here we go. Yo, I moved over to Twitch. Nice. Oh, welcome. Okay. Got you, Francis. All right. By the way, how's everyone's weeks been? Good week, everyone. Bad week. Average week. Foil rare. Prismatic shield. Yellow pitch. Do that more often. Seek horizon red. And out muscle red. Ooh. You got a coal foil iron hide plate. Okay. Cultivate. Cultivate. The real Dinotron. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, at least there's a coal foil. Okay, let me be right back. Let me get some water. Tonight's beverage will be a bubbly, sparkling water. Okay. What's up? Bad week since I'm sick from my virus second dose. Oh no! Like more than one day sick? Thanks, Schmeggies. Ooh. That hits the spot. That hits the spot. Alright, four packs left. This box was a little bit on the weaker side, but that's okay. Not every box can be a home run. Here we go. Okay, we got our foil Phantasma 5, Blue Pitch, Stubby Hammers, Glisten, and Herald of Judgment. Oh my gosh, Cutie Man, it's so sad. All right, next. Wait, the real Dinotron, that's great! Cold Foil Luminaris, that's legit. That's legit to the max. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, a Foil Majestic, Sonata Arcanix. You guys can barely tell it's Foil, I know. Let me let me turn on the, the, the desk light. Nice little Foil. Foil Majestic, we'll take it. Ah, excuse me. Can we get a double majestic, please. Here we go. Majestic. No, just a rare. All right. Last two packs. Can we get another cold foil? Would that be asking for too much? Mm. The staircase case up is beautiful. Yeah. This reminds me like of um, Therese Nielsen art, honestly. Oh, you like it, anyways. Was, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yo, Michael, thanks so much for the super sticker. All right, here we go. What goodies are we going to pull today? We got Spears of Surreality is our foil. Take it, Aether Iron Weave. Majestic! No, just a rare glisten. Cool art, though. Cool art. Last pack. Here we go. 
right. Joe, no, sorry, you can't stay at my place tonight. I watched someone open a cold foil of that staircase. So there isn't a cold foil available, so it's probably just a rainbow foil, my guess. All right, last pack magic, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom! Oil impenetrable belief. Just one cold foil for your old Mike. How about a majestic? Oh, all right. So the whole box really didn't get us much on this one, sadly. All we got is an Ironhide Gauntlet cold foil. And actually very few, this is probably one of the weakest boxes I've opened so far. Actually, this is the weakest box I've ever opened so far. We've opened a lot of boxes. This is straight up the weakest. Only five Majestics, which is super below average. And our cold foil is below average. So guys, we're only gonna get better from tonight unless somehow, like if we get a worse box than this, I will be utterly surprised. Like just utterly surprised. B, oh wait, right here. Noise, okay. So we got a spot for a Monarch Box War. Thank you for inquiring, 1K Falcon. Let me double check. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. In fact, no one's actually taken any yet. So you would be the first one to take a Box War. And that would come from a sealed case, just to be very clear. I do not like selling loose boxes. Most of you trust me not to be doing shenanigans, but I, I just... Remove all doubt. I just don't do it instead. <laughs> Can I get this to work? No, I just dropped it. Yeah, that box was not just below average. It was like bad. Okay. But not all boxes can be good. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. All right, guys, let me take a look at the schedule. I think enough stuff has filled up that I'm going to start opening some stuff. So let's go ahead. Actually, let me make sure Jeff is around. Um, hey, are you around? I'll start opening. You've earned our trust. You can't say the same for the other box crackers. Yeah, I appreciate it. I know. It's just, it makes it a lot easier. I don't need to earn your trust when I'm not not opening the, the opportunities for sketch. Hermit, you're around. So um let's go ahead and start opening your Pokemons. Right? <laughs> okay, Timmy, it's my box. We can say it was a bad box. That's okay. Alright. Bears. And a bunch of commons. Let's put that aside. Get our first cold foil of the day. Ironhide gauntlets. Tokens. And that is... Alright. So, we're going to be opening Black Jet and Silver Lance. This is what the case box for Black Jet looks like. It looks like this. Get it? It's black. Alright. Let's do some waifu or some darkens. There aren't that many waifus, I think, in Black Jet. And the, the chase isn't uh, Charizard. It's like... It's like the... Uh, the ice... Person, <laughs> a calyx, or I, I forget how it's pronounced. To be
This is a uh, silver lance. Okay. Let's go. Let's open these guys up. And uh, hopefully, I don't need scissors today. Yeah, silver is Melanie. V maxes are in this. V maxes are in in all the Pokemon products now. Oh, Jet Black has Caitlyn. That would be the the sick hit for sure. That would be the sick hit for sure. All right. Okay. All right. Just open both. Why not? Here we go. I didn't care too much of the Zeni Collector box here, or see if they managed to climb any higher. Bot mine at 180. Uh, I think they have to climb. The moment the distros are dry, they'll climb. This drill still have a little bit left over, which is freaking nuts to me, but they will climb soon. I guarantee you. Got it, Falcon. You're all set for the battle. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Ooh, that's a cute Lapras. I like it. Mush, what, is that Caitlyn? Who's this again? Is that, is that the Chase Bat? Art trainer. All right, Hermit. Pack number two, Silver Lance. Can we get a famous Michael? My name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, him. Why well, he's not talking? Oh, Hefe! Hefe, you talk, right? My name is Jim. <laughs> okay, we got um the fire chick, the fire chicken. It's uh not Reboot. It's not Score Bunny. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Cinderace, yes, thank you so much, Hua. All right, here we go. Oregon, and that is a floor trainer. Oh, this is Melanie. Okay, Melanie is a chunky girl, kinda. Am I allowed to say that? I don't even know. Is that not woke? Combuskin the kicking chicken. Oh, is that what that was? <laughs> All right. Oh, I love this guy. He's so cute. All right. Here we go. Ooh, there's a hit. Ah, our first V. How do you guys pronounce this again? Calyx. I forgot. It's. I googled how to pronounce it. I forgot. Dreaded name of my younger brother. <laughs> my name is Jeff. All right. No runs. Some gloves. On to the next. Go. I think there's a hit in here. Nope. I jest. I jest. I jest. Raboot. All right, here we go. One, two. Oh, I don't have to schedule up. And got to update the schedule too. I was like, why is there so much space? I was about to say, why is there so much space? Yes, I can put chat up here. A bunch of Pokemon cards I haven't looked at in 10 years. 10 years is still relatively modern. But if you haven't looked at it, oh my gosh, yeah, there could be some money in there. That's for sure. 
Yeah, Gabe, that it is worth doing that. Just so you know, you know, just so you know. All right, here we go. Here is our first VMAX, Tornadus. Tornadus is kind of like the slow bro of this set. Like, like every single, like, you know, matchless fighters, like every single one, we had one. I think the same way about Tornadus. Like, I think I, like every single box opening, I've seen one. Reminds me also of um, Aladdin, like the the G, the D, genie, the genie, the genie, yeah. Dude, first edition. Oh, the Egyptian m m muse were from the uh, the movie. I had one. I don't know where I put it, but I had one. I went to go watch that movie. It was nuts. It was so popular. It was crazy. Playing the game on your Game Boy and then it was at the theater. That was kind of a nuts experience. All right, here we go. Rousey, Snow Runt, Zerud. That's actually really cool. All right. Math Coder, thanks for the resubscription. What's up? Victor, how's everybody? Victor, I've been trying to get you a call time draft booster for cheap, but they're not really readily available. <laughs> oh, okay. Got this big little monster looking little thing. Happy to resub. Welcome. I like the artwork in the set, Michael says. The artwork is... They've been doing a good job. Every single set, I feel like the art is nice. Definitely think Pokemon art is a little bit more exciting. Yo, thanks for the resubscription. Woo woo. Right, here we go. Oh, that's really cool. Almost one year. I know, it's crazy. I can't believe it's almost been a year. That actually is kind of nuts to me, now that I think about it. Alright, here we go. Alright. Hey, that's pretty. Derpy Slowpoke Lapras. It's Derpy Slowpoke. What up, Michael? Got my cards in the mail. Thanks. Of course. Thank you so much for the sponsoring. All right. Here we go. Wow, that's so pretty. What is this? I didn't realize Porygon evolved again. That's really pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. I knew shortly after my when you were out. Thanks for that. Thank you. I'm so... I'm grateful for that, but I'm also really sad that that happened. Porygon Z? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so glad. There you go. All right. So many misses. I want to see the V's and the V maxes. Come on. All right. Go. Ready. Got a Tauros here. Porygon. Porygon two. Is there a Polygon? No. Oh, I'm so stupid. I was like. I know that the word polygon definitely means something. Apparently it does not mean Pokemon. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Next pack. Ooh, there's something in here. I see it, I sense it. All right, this is our... God, uh, you guys have to help me. Calyx? 
<laughs> so VMAX. I want to see some full arts. Me too! How many boxes are we gonna have to open to see a full art? Yeah, that's the uh, pack art. Pack art. Ice Rider Kip Kaylee Ricks. Kit Kaylee Ricks? Alright, here we go. Juan Sandaconda. Our V. 11 bucks? Okay. Didn't realize that V Max was 11 bucks. When I first opened this last week, I had no idea what prices are on anything. So, thank you for that price check. Pronounce it like like California, like Calyrex. Calyrex. Here we go. Silver has the best top end. Makes sense. Makes sense. I think silver is a little bit more valuable than black jet, like market price wise. Calyrex. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, brother. Here we go. Why is Japanese Pokemon product cheaper than American product? So, the boxes are just... They have, like, 30 packs, but each pack only has 5 cards. So there's less cards in general. And the product is a little bit cheaper to buy, even at retail. But, because we have to import it, it gets a little bit pricey. Like this stuff is about $45 per box if you can buy it at like like MSRP. Black has the most expensive cards but silver has the more expensive cards. Oh, okay. You guys you're just going to let me know when we hit an expensive card. Although I think I'll know, to be honest. Wait, we only have two packs left. We haven't gotten the, the UR or the SR. Is this like Lyperd or something like that? Yanji, you opened my my first box. You missed my first box of uh, Monarch. We got two Sonatas in that box, Yanji, so that's good. The bad thing is five Majestics, one common cold foil. Very sad. Yo, hype! Full Art Trainer! Heck yeah! Um, I feel like I saw a print line. Yeah, there's a print line. You guys see it? Um, there's like a print line right here. But oh, that's still hype. My first time seeing this full art trainer. Juan, do you want this in a top loader or a semi rigid? I think I'll do top loader for now because I don't know if I want to grade this. Right. And does that qualify as waifu? Oh yeah, uh, Nixie, they announced the second season like... They announced it like literally a week ago at this point. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, so that's it. That's it for that first box. Got ourselves a waifu. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's go to box number two. She might be more like her hips don't lie, that's for sure. Yeah, she is doing like a dance move with her hips. That I do see. Glad we got a full art trainer to start. Those are always the most exciting. I did finish Shadow and Bone. I'm so sad, Timmy. No one told me it was one season. They should have a disclaimer when there's only one season. I was upset. We were. I was watching of Leslie. Ooh, a Celebi V Max. I was watching of Leslie, and I was like, "Why did it stop?" He's like, "Oh, it's done." And I'm like, "What do you mean it's done?" It was like a. They left us on a cliffhanger. Yeah, I know, Timmy. I looked it up. I figured it out. It's my fault. I'm ignorant. My bad. I was sad though. I was. I was. I went through all the cycles of, of anger very quickly. I was like, it was like a disbelief. No, no, it was ignorance. I was like, what's going on? 
Then it was disbelief. No way. There has to be more episodes. There's, there's a glitch. And then it was immediate frustration. How could they do this to me? Just being... And now I'm just sad. And now I'm over it. That That's that's kind of what happened. It all happened in about three hours. The next morning, I was still a little bit mad. But now, now I'm over it. I've accepted it now. I'm, I'm in that... Oh yeah, where's the bargaining stuff? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't I didn't do much bargaining. I saw the Dark Mage, he played another show I watched, he was a good character. Oh my gosh, Leslie told me that he was in something that we watched, but I forgot what she said. <laughs> That's cool. Just picked up five box monarch. Nice Francis, that's so exciting. Six dollars. Wait, this waifu is only six dollars? Oh, for Saudi VMAX. Okay, heck yeah. Let's go. That's exciting. Hey, that's pretty. Ooh, that must be one of the waifus. Ben Barnes was Prince Caspian. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm reading the Shadow and Bone book. Yes, he was. Who is the main male actor? Is that is that the Shadow guy, or is that the Tracker? This is Hermit. We're opening for Hermit right now. Hey, we got the Shadow Rider. Leslie, look at this card. Do you see this? I feel like Leslie would love cards like that. You're just juggling all that food. Like, what is this? This is like a loaf of bread. Yo, what's up? MB30. It's an apple. There's like a tin of food, some beans, the leek or something there. That's Moo Moo milk, that coffee. No, nah, it's okay. <laughs> and shares. Shares. All right, if we open another one, I will. But this is oh, cute. Love disc, acorn. All right, grab lock. Oh, easy. I will say this, Michael. I think next season the trapper will have an ability too. They are slow playing it, dude. Me too. You know, the moment, the moment th they need another, uh, Deux, Deux Machina? The moment they need another one of those, the tracker's just gonna have some innate ability that's just gonna surface. We know that's gonna be the case. <laughs> Dude, Paul, you can do so many other things. You know in the book, the trapper's supposed to be, like, insanely good looking? Really? Babe, did, did a female write this book? Out of curiosity? Mm. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Let me guess, the shadow guy is also supposed to be insanely good looking. Alright. Gengar. Gengar with a tongue. He's described as having sharp features. Okay, so that could be good looking, but also maybe just a, a little bit too extreme. A little Machiavellian. All right, here we go. <laughs> Timmy, at least you're aware. I've never watched Twilight. I've never read the books. I just know there are vampires and werewolves, and they're all fighting for this girl. 
Oh, that's Caitlyn, right? The one that was a prisoner on the ship, I found her crazy, insanely beautiful. Oh, oh, Nico. Uh, Nina, Nina, Nina. That's her name. Say hi, duck. Coffee. And uh, some legendary dog who doesn't like you looking at him. There were no vampires or werewolves in Twilight. Uh, yes, there were no, what? What is Twilight then? I thought that was Twilight. There we go. I wish I could love, live with everything about Twilight except for the sunlight thing. What? What is, why? Hey, hey, hey! Okay. Leslie, do you want to keep one of these? I think Hermit will, is willing to give you one. Okay. Then we got a V. Okay. I'll set it aside for you. Thank you, Hermit! Mm -hmm. Shadow Rider or Celebi alt, alt Art? Okay. Yes, that's what we want. We want the Shadow Rider or the Celebi alt art. Lots of packs to go, but just a few Vs so far. Oh my god, I went with a bunch of nerd friends to watch Twilight because I thought it was about vampires and werewolves, but then we realized that something was wrong when the whole cinema was filled with female teenagers. <laughs> also, hi Max, how's it going? Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorites. Look at this. This is me. A glutton. A little glutton. Alright, here we go. When the sparkly sunlight scene came on, she laughed so loud and all the teen girls turned around to glare at her. Ah, your friend is so malicious. I got in trouble at the movie theater when I burst out. <laughs> my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's our alt art. Ah, oh, I got this last time. The fish. Sad. This is like the a little Arctivish or cor Corvish or some, something like that. That's not what I want to see. Right? There's that though. So got a few Pacaroonies left. I mean, even the gold second energy would be a pretty good hit. We got the fish. We got the little fish alt. This has to be one of the worst uh, secret rares, right? Second time we pulled it. It doesn't look that exciting to me. Octovish. Octovish. Alright, here we go. Okay, we got a VMAX here. That's actually kind of cool. I'm currently watching Jupiter's Legacy. It seems okay, but not as good as Shadow and Bone. Okay. Fair. Fair. Here we go. You know what I just realized? Oh, I just realized I mispriced some things, but I'll update it now. It's supposed to be 18. Oh.
If you want a guilty pleasure, Michael, watch The Boys on Prime. What's it about? I have 300 packs of TSR. Do I open or sit on them for a few years? Uh, what is the intention here? What is the intention, Joe? All right, here we go. Hermit. Dystopian Hero Show. Interesting. Ooh! This is gorgeous. Celebi V. That I like. Papa like that. Anyone watch Trailer Park Boys? What's Trailer Park Boys? Also, hey, William in Tennessee, what's up? Trailer Park Boys? I dare knows. I dare knows what that is. Okay, last three packs for Hermit on this um, Black Lance box. Joe, if the purpose is to make money, you should just sell them now. <laughs> I can't open this pack. Nothing much. Wah. Just opening some packs. You know, the huge. Okay, so this was a, a sad pack as well. Oh, wait, there's a hollow. I can deal with gore, but Leslie doesn't like gore. Liking Twilight is what I call a beauty pressure, not the boys. That's like the coolest one I've seen so far. Of Rillaboom. I actually like that. Alright, one last pack. Can we just get a little V here? That'd be nice. Alright, cute. Cute, not cute, and maybe cute. Cool, cool, cool. All right, there you go. Here's what we got. Got some hits here and there. Be right back. Yeah, Joe, if I were you and your goal was just to make money, I would just sell those. Honestly. That is what I would do. Alright. These are our two hits. Silver Lance. Black Jet. Okay. These cards to the side. And what is next? Right. I don't think Jeff is around. Um Excuse me. So I think I'm just going to do the uh the Francis double box. Then we'll go to Monarch. Oh, okay. Monarch we're just waiting for a battler. Okay. Um. Yeah, we we need one person to battle. Tim, and uh, we'll do that. Yes. Okay. So the moment someone jumps onto that battle, I'll do Fab. But otherwise, for now, uh, let me open. Let's actually do this. Let's do this time spiral little mini battle between Timmy and Leslie. Thank you, 
guys are both here. So, might as well. Do this. So, William, my wife Leslie spelled like that, but then Leslie... Those are the differences. Not that it matters that much, but... Alright, so I was like, is Leslie in the chat? And then I realized, Leslie, you were talking to the Leslie that was right next to me. Alright, let's go! Gora. Sure. Very, very cardboard intense. All right. Give me pack number one. <laughs> Michael's destroying. I know, but that that's they're meant to be destroyed, you know? Alright, Timmy. I wanna see some old bordered foils today. I think that would be excellent. I think there's a foil in here. Here we go. Sedge sliver! Not bad, not bad. Read the bones. Here's our foil. Yo, Timmy, pack number one. The far seek. This is basically like a fetch land. Yes. Heck yes. Right. Right. That's a nice little one. All right, Leslie. We'll go over to you. Here we go. With the same luck. Oh no, Nathaniel, it's so sad. Hugo, Hugh, Hugenbert. I think so. You're the one that won the the Strict Save and Pre-release kit, right? I believe, and I need to give your stuff to Pompa. Okay, pack one for Leslie was not as exciting. Um, I'm good, by the way. Thanks for checking in. Here we go, here we go. Heartwood Storyteller in a Teamer Battle Rage. All right, these, these little short little sweet battles. $50 on that Farseek? Oh my gosh. Emmy, coming in. Coming in hot. Here we go. You got a cold foil? Yeah, basically, a magic cold foil. Warm yard, abrupt decay. All right, last pack. Timmy, let's go. Here we go. Let's see it. That flags of the trocare and a teamer ascendancy. All right, Leslie, can you also get something spicy? I'm spiral. Not bad. Don't write it off yet. Here we go. Cryptic. Dune Rider. Turn to Dust. Gauntlet of Power. Mythic. And a Thraggy Daddy. All right. Well, this one goes to Timmy. Not that close. But good to see Spice being open from Time Spiral. Okay. Hugo, I have not met with Pompa in a bit. But I'll make sure that he gets it. Okay. Ah, uh, all right. Sorry about that one, Leslie. This one's going to France. Uh, pump the uh, Timmy B. Okay. All right. We do have a team up pack for Leslie. These are getting harder to find and pretty valuable. So here we go for Leslie. We'll team up pack. Let's go. Hey, Kyler. Um, Hugo, cool. Thanks for understanding. Oh, I shouldn't have looked at the back. Okay. Squirtle. Tentacool. Primer, Pitchy, Ratini. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Reverse Hollow Vulpix. 
and an Alolan Executor. Energy, Jasmine, Judge Whistle, and a Cosmo, Cosmoium. Right. Uh, Francis, don't sponsor single loose packs of Crucible of War. It's just, there's, it's not worth. I have some loose packs from a box where I opened two cold foils, and I'm saving them for like, something like, like a limited play later. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do that now. So I have a question. If you fill up gas containers with gas, how do you move it into your car? How do you put it into your tank later? Like, am I, am I a noob? I don't know how to do that. You know what I mean, guys? No, maybe. Oh, a funnel! <laughs> I should have known that, huh? Magic Mike, thanks for the hydrate request. for some silver jet black lance. Nice squatch, that's a really good deal, honestly. Hey C train, I do. Alright, Francis, your time to shine. Let's go. Let us go. I need a case of unlimited arcane. I'm sure there will be people to help uh, get you that case. Same thing, we'll start with Silver Lance, and then we'll go to Black Jet. I got a full art Herald of Edition. Nice! Congrats, that's a good pull.
Hey, another light bird. <laughs> Gabe. I wouldn't toss anything, Gabe, but I don't think the old energies are really worth that much. Uh, but we have experts in the chat, I'm sure. Alright, so what are the chase cards? The full art trainers are all pretty much chase cards. And there's some pretty big hits as well. Um, I know someone in this chat knows. <laughs> there's so many cards here. Gay, that's a lifetime of sorting. A lifetime of sorting awaits you. We got the Tornadus V. Oh yeah, the secret, the alternate art riders are like really, really chase as well. Those are hot, hot products. Here we go. This is worse than any form of magic organizing. Just uh, sort them by their symbol. And if they don't have a symbol, that's really good. Because <laughs> that means they're base addition. <laughs> Who's the chase waifu in this set? Uh, Caitlyn, I believe. Alt Art Riders and Alt Art Celebi, says Michael. Alright. I don't just set... Just, how do you tell Reverse Hollow from Regular Hollow? Uh, Reverse Hollow is like... So if it's Hollow, only the art is is holographic. Reverse hollow is everything but the is holographic. Melanie too, but not as much. Okay. I see. Peonia! That's such a pretty name. I like flowers. No, all these are hollow. These are just hollow. Normal hollow. Ignore the border. That's a Japanese thing. We got two more battlers signed up. So box four has a battler pending. I think I'll just battle Brad. <laughs> Someone signed up at the same time as you. I will just battle you. It will be a spicy, scary battle. But if no one signs up, it will just be me versus you for that Monarch last box. Go. Here we go. No symbol is base set. I guess that's good. The rainbow versions have also become less expensive than normal versions. Oh, sorry, I signed up for the battle to fill up the schedule. No! Oh, Rainbow! The same thing, it's a doctor. Max, if you don't want 
it, it's okay too. I don't mind. Either way, I really appreciate you though. I really appreciate you though. We have the, the, the nurse again. Okay. Nice little girl. She's a doctor, don't demote her. <laughs> My bad. The doctor. The doctor. So we got an HR. I have a cool no symbol Hitmonchan. Yeah, that's a base set Hitmonchan. It was in good condition. Chef's kiss. Oh my gosh, it's getting dark, guys. I gotta put on the, turn on the lights. If they're mainly MP, most of the time I wouldn't grade them at this point because it's so expensive to grade. That's cute. I'm glad Addy will love it. Do you get many people trying to pay off crypto? Uh, since I don't do too much high-end stuff, Herbert, I don't really have a lot of crypto uh, buyers. If I ever do like high-end stuff, I'll probably take crypto. Like really high-end stuff, like the aforementioned Arcane First Edition, Welcome to Wraith Alpha, like vintage Pokemon. Right. He's the doctor from the Max Raid Den in Crown Tundra. Got you, got you. Uh, no, I don't really invest in crypto. I don't invest in crypto. All right. Anaconda. I'm just trying to get some MTG funds. That's fair. Yeah, Gardevoir is uh, Poke Bay. That is for sure. Crypto is very volatile. Yes. It's on a huge bull run right now. Most like trending up. But that doesn't mean that it will always be going up. So, um, buy with caution. You know, buy with caution. I'm hoping big tonight, Misty Rainforest Foil Expedition. All right, we don't. I don't think we got a Misty Rainforest so far in our openings. I'm up 200% on Ethereum. Very nice. If you bought in low, pretty hard to lose. True, true. Hey, we do have our um, Ice Rider Kaylee Ricks, Kaylee Ricks, uh, V. Pretty. Uh, no, just so far, since I started- Because, like, I didn't do Zenikar Rising Collectors for, like, a month. And I recently restocked, and on this restock, so far, I haven't opened a, uh, Missy Rainforest. So. Doge went up around 6,000% this year. Yeah. I know, I know. Rags to riches. Hey, Ginger Boy. Thanks. Yeah, I think we're having a good day today. Here we go. What is this? Is this Sandaconda VMAX? I've never seen this. 
Honestly, this looks a little scary. Honestly, it looks a little terrifying. There you go, uh, Francis. Your first VMAX. Porygon. Yeah, that Modern Masters box, that was something. That was something else. Hey, you got the VMAX, Calyrix. Calyrix. There you go, Francis. Two VMAXs. Crypto is definitely going to wreck a lot of people who come in now. Yeah, it's... You know, it's it's sometimes... It's just a little bit too volatile. For, if I were single, probably, I'd be gambling on crypto. I have a little bit to spend. Can I get one set of Japanese packs or is it too late? It's not too late, but you'd be the only one getting a set. And so we'd have to fill up that box. Yeah, it was a foil Crater Hoof Behemoth and an Aaron Mesa. Foil Crater Hoof Behemoth. And that's after a, like a foil Verdant Catacombs or something. So... I don't want to brag my Conic Master Packs. Yeah, you only got like, uh, like half the box or something? Sorry if I'm wrong, but is this like Pokemon trading cards? Yeah, Ginger Boy, these are um, Pokemon trading cards. These are the Japanese language Pokemon trading cards. This is a set that was released at this point about three weeks ago in Japan. And uh, yeah, it has this set has not released in the US yet. Oh, we got 20 packs. Hey, Donnie, what's up? Donnie, nice. I've been waiting for people to check in on that case opening. All right, here we go. One, two, three, all right. All right, that is Silver Lance. Now we're gonna go to Black Jet. How do you think this set is compared to Shining Fates and Battle Styles? Uh, well, this set, you can't really compare those because there's a, that's like an English set versus uh, these uh, Japanese sets. But um, I like the last set more. I like Matchless Fighters more than these two. Which is better? I don't know if like you can say one is better. Um, Hermit said that basically uh, Black Lance has like higher frequency of good pulls but the best pulls are in Silver Lance like the most valuable pulls are in the other set you seem like a really nice guy just sub thanks so much Ginger Boy appreciate it welcome to the channel <laughs> that's true he bought the rest of the box, but he did get a lot of good pulls. Yeah, I don't like battle styles. I, I really, really do not like battle styles. I'm not excited for Chilling Rain if battle styles is going to be the same way. But it could be because I'm so used to Shining Fates, where there's like a hit every other battle. Yeah, Schmeggies, you're probably going to battle me. If no one else signs up for it, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I'm, I'm in. Ben, what's up? Ben, your name sounds so familiar. Why does it sound so familiar? Oh yeah, because you bought it last week. Appreciate it. BRB, I'll catch up. Going to eat dinner. Hello? Okay, yeah, thank you. We'll come pick it up. Baby, the food is here. Cute. It's free. yeah. It is fitting. Schmegs. All right. My favorite recent Pokemon was Vivid. That's what got me into collecting Pokemon. Nice, nice. Well, it's one of you. I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, we got a Europe, right? Or UK? Appreciate it, Ginger Boy. Have a great night. And I missed a message from Zabor. Oh, we're battling Monarch. We're battling um, Flesh and Blood Monarch.
Panda Flower, absolutely we're gonna sell Chilling Rain packs and boxes on stream. 10,000% we're gonna do that. Absolutely. You just have to wait until it comes out. We're gonna do that for sure. Every single Pokemon set I'm gonna I'm gonna have. I just didn't really sell much battle styles. I was selling battle styles for like three dollars a pack because it was really cheap. I did like the set. Um, yeah. In fact, if you guys, I have some ETBs that we can break for thirty dollars, but I'm not even gonna advertise it. I don't really like the set. If you want some sealed battle styles ETBs, it's $32 each, $5 flat shipping. So that's uh, $69 for two shipped. Um, but yeah, I, I, I have been selling battle styles on like TCG player and um, other sites. So I think like years from now, people will be like, oh, battle styles, you get all these cool hits. They'll think of the Tyranitar and stuff, but until then, until then. Tell me in for those. Yeah, yo, Mike, if you want to pick up some uh, Battle Styles ETBs. The cheapo deal. Oh, that's a really pretty Blissey. Right. Yeah, not a lot of big hits. Right, right, exactly. Panda Flower, the people that buy from me, that buy battle styles from me, um, have been uh, building. They play the TCG. They're like, first of all, the code card is worth like, I don't, what is it, like 10 cents or something? Did you hear Cara Delavine is doing an NFT about her private parts? What? Mr. Pokey Gary HD. I remember when you got Shiny Fates early. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. That was a crazy time. I never knew it'd be so nuts. How can she NFT her private parts? You know? I really like the Japanese Pokemon card quality. It is nice. It is definitely, it's it's not even like, oh, it's like sometimes better, sometimes worse. It's usually consistently better, except the really like spicy, like, Oils often have print lines, which is really annoying. Michael, some questions are better left unasked. Yeah, an image of her private parts makes sense, but you can't NFT her physical private parts. That doesn't make any sense. All right. I don't even know who that is, but okay. I have to imagine she's probably some model or something. Cara Delevingne? Delevingne? Wait, what did I come back into? <laughs> someone said that someone's private parts were being NFT'd. They're making a non-fungible token. Dude, Yanji, when you first told me about NFTs, I thought it was a scam. And then when... What's that guy? What's that guy's name? Uh, Logan Paul started selling them. Then I realized they really are a scam. I don't know, Kyler. All right, here we go. Mm. Hey, Dusk Rider. Mm. That's the evil chick in Suicide Squad. That's the evil chick in Suicide Squad. Okay, I don't really know what she exactly looks like because Suicide Squad has a lot of makeup. Hooch, what's up? You know what, Yanji is right, better left on ass. Hey, what's up, Alan? He's also on Paper Towns? I didn't watch that. Like, is she attractive? Do you guys find her attractive? She played Enchantress. She's a model and an actress. Okay. Here we go. Coughing. Little hollow greedent here. Oh, okay, so I will I will try to get some more Strict Saving Collectors. I will try. Oh, I think I watched Valerian. Oh, Weezy. 
She's okay looking. What's her name? Okay. This person is Suicide Squad? What? She doesn't look like the Suicide Squad girl at all. Not at all. She has a very, um, I don't know what the right word is. The NFT is just a video where she talks about her V. Oh. But you know her, but you know the, the headlines are going to say she's, you know, NFT her V. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Gold. We hit gold. I don't know what this is, but it's obviously the hit of the box. Oh, she was Enchantress in Suicide Squad. I thought she was the, uh, what call it, girl? Uh, you know who. I thought she was Harley. That's 53 bucks? Cha-ching! All right, here we go. Sweet purple orb. Nice. Wheezy. Yeah, I was thinking of Harley Quinn. I was like, that's definitely not Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn looks like like your, your stereotypical like American girl. And this Kara girl looks super like Euro. Like almost Eastern Euro. Ooh, Celebi V. It's always a popular one. Harley was Margot Robbie, also from Wolf of Wall Street. Ah, I should have watched Wolf of Wall Street. I should watch Wolf of Wall Street. That's like the industry I was in. Actually, I shouldn't watch that. I heard it was just like very, it was like basically it was a, you know, a prawn video. Here we go. Do you know if the mail is slow? My box has been at the distribution center since the 30th. That should not be happening, Alan. Let me check into it. Okay, I gotta make a note to do something. Alan, I didn't put Junior in the address when I shipped to you. Do you think that's going to be a problem? It was a character caricature of selling. A lot of movies are characters. Um... No, Alan, I don't need tracking. I have the tracking. I see that it hasn't been updated. And they did a... Did you call them? Because a package research was open on the 12th, which was two days ago. Yeah, I don't know what's the situation, Alan. I really don't know. Usually when I see something like that, it actually just means that it's delayed and it'll be like, it'll eventually get there. But I don't know what's, what's wrong. Cause I haven't seen that happen in like weeks. All right, Francis, 
That's what we got for you. Got some goodies here and there. Okay. I think we're gonna do Monarch now. Um... <laughs> it's my time spiral luck hitting me again. Hey babe, I'm gonna do Monarch. I'm just gonna battle Brad. All right, here's the sealed case. So move this up. Okay, so seal, seal, loose seal, loose seal, and this box smells like medicine. Wait, let me open it right here, actually. Uh, Nixie, it's two seventy-five for a battle. Then, so if you want to battle Brad, this is your chance. It's gonna be a case fresh box. Uh. Yeah. Loose seal ball. If you get that, you're old, but you love I love Lucy. I watched Arrested Development. Loose seal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that from Arrested Development. Okay, Shin. No problem. I think it would be better if someone took this battle, so it's not me because of uh, I don't know conflict of interest. But I will I will dutifully do this. The moment we open the first box out of integrity, I will have to not be able to accept anyone sponsoring, but until then, until then. So the first two boxes, oh wait, I should, sorry, you guys trust me, uh, you guys trust me. So the first two boxes are going to be full box sponsorship, so it's going to be Donnie, Donnie are you here? Give me a little, a little hello. And then there's three extra boxes after that, that are going to be for John. And uh, then it's gonna be the battles, okay? Let me battle him. <laughs> okay. Donnie, if you want to, uh, just fill out a form so that we have that on record. Let me message John to let him know that we are open. All right, Donnie, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm so hyped. I am shaking. All right. This is for Donnie. Let's go. And Jeff, we're gonna push this back. All right. Oh, it smells like, it smells like, um, you know what it smells like? I feel this was shipped with um, maple syrup. It smells like maple syrup. Yeah, it smells like maple syrup. It's a little bit too strong for me. All right, here we go, Donnie. Maybe we've got some spicy maple syrup. Fresh from Canada, I know. I'll be back in like three hours, okay. What? Why do you like Golden Girls? <laughs> I did a battle recently. I won one. I lost one. Okay. All right. Don't eat the packs. All right, guys. You know the drill, right? There's 11 commons. And then the 12th card is our foil. Here we go. Our foil is a Herald of Protection. Our first foil. Time skip us. Our rares are Endless Maw and... A tremor, and we do have a bobble in this pack. Very nice. No, wh why? Wh where did? When did you start watching the show? So today we're gonna sleeve the foil, and we're gonna do three rares per sleeve for the non-foil rares. Okay. <laughs> that smelling comment was perfect. Alright, 
here we go. Oh, now I feel hungry because of these maple syrup smelling packs. Oh, cold foil! In pack number two. Eh. I'm not a fan of that ding, but that's a really early cold foil. So, hoping for a multi uh, cold foil box. And Donnie, we've gotten you every single shadow cold foil, I feel. Oh, we don't have the hexagore yet. Monarch has a lot of dings, yeah. Unfortunately, it does have a lot of dings. All right, well, there you go. Hooves of the Shadow Beast. Centering is decent. It's a little bit heavy here on this side. The back. Okay, so some corner issues. This looks like a BGS 9, right? BGS 9 right here. All right, let's go. Phantasma fight. Hey, a soul shield. Our first majestic of the box. How much is this? Uh, all the cold foils are minimum $100. Minimum $100. Um, this one is... I want to say it's more playable, but I really haven't researched much about Levia. So I don't have much specs on it. But given that I think it's a BGS 9... $150, give or take, is a good estimate, Hermit, for all the common cold foils that are not Ironhide. So these are the Ironhide ones. The Ironhide ones are a little bit cheaper because they're they're actually not playable most of the time, at least right now. Um, but these class-specific ones, like this is the Shadow Brute, Shadow Brute legs, are a little bit more playable. And they're just, honestly, they're cooler. So those are going to be like... I don't know. A little bit more buckaroos. Stubby hammers, herald, and a plow through. All right, let me just, uh, actually that's okay. Wolf factor adds buckaroos, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have no idea. This is the weirdest one to me. But cold foils are only in first edition. And that's why you'll see most people that buy singles right now are buying cold foils or they're buying majestics because majestics are hard to get, especially if you need like two or three for your playsets. Battlefield Blitz Red, nice, and a rise above yellow pitch. Next. Oh yeah, the extended art majestics are Chef's Kiss. Those are the legit ones. Dude, my fiance and I learned how to play Flesh and Blood. Actually super fun. Yo, nice. Do you have a favorite hero? Or does she have a favorite hero? Here we go. Dust Path Pilgrimage, nice. This is a good one. A rare foil, red pitch. This I do want to test in Dorinthia. All right, Halo of Illumination, Rare, and a Captain's Call. I'm really liking the Brute. She's a fan of the Ninja class. Wait. How do you get the heroes? The heroes are all tokens, so I've, I've been ignoring the tokens. Like, all the heroes are free. At least the non-foil version of them. They're free. They're little tokens. They're in the back. But now if you want the, the rainbow foil, like, promo versions, those are going to be, like, uh, something else. Those are going to be given as promos for buying unlimited. I think they're going to be hard to get, even though they're supposed to be a promo for buying unlimited. Battlefield Blitz, Dimensional Gateway, and oh, the weapons, the, the generic weapons are also free. Free, like five cents, not, not, not expensive.
Yeah, LGS promos, exactly. Like LGS promos. Here we go. Inti Yanti, Memorial Ground, Rising Solar Tide, one of my favorite arts. Don't like a lot of the arts, to be honest with you guys, with uh, Flesh and Blood, but that one I do like. Hey, we got the Time Skippers. Are you a WPN sanction? I'm not WPN sanction. I don't even have a store. All right, Tear Limb from Limb. All right, Second Majestic. Also a good one. It's a good one. Very playable. Right. Next. The store of Michael's apartment. WPN is Wizards Play Network. So that is the program that Wizards has called any store that they certify as a store you can go play Wizards products so that's Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering now you don't need WPN to get Magic products but it helps a lot alright we got a foil bolt of courage that art is just so epic anthropomorphic personification of a store <laughs> that is actually quite Apt. I like that. That is quite apt. Battlefield Blitz, Endless. Aw. Crack Bobble. I think WPN will be dismantled after this week's announcements. That's fair. Kind of crazy, but that's fair. They have ended the pro dream. My guess is they're going to create something in the future and it's going to be like the next best thing ever. Like, better than sliced bread, blah, 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 blah. Until then, they're just going to have to do that. Gallantry Gold, Captain's Call, Double Captain's Call. Interesting. That's not a good pack for Limited. I don't like Blue Captain's Call. Wow, Hermit, that's a good... That's a very reasonable uh, take. Blinding Beam, another Bolt of Courage, this is Yellow Pitch. Dreamweavers, Phantasmify, and a V of the Vanguard. Alright, next pack. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves a Dimensional Gateway Red! Does your wife help you run your business? Oh, Herbert. 10,000%. I can't do it without her. He helps me on everything. He's helping right now. Anyone that sponsors something, she's checking payments. She's updating the schedule that you see right here. It's all her. Ooh, another Majestic. This one is a, a scary one. Look at this guy's face. Look at his face. Or her face, maybe. Spill... Blood. Do you play her well or does she get the Yanji treatment? <laughs> Michael is just a pretty face. Leslie does all the heavy lifting. <laughs> eh, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm the pretty face. Leslie does do the heavy lifting, but I don't know if I'm the pretty face here. Alright, here we go. Foil Spew Shadow. Ebb Unfold. Phantasmify. The Howl from Beyond. I think this box is already better than my box. <laughs> Alright, next pack. Michael and Leslie are both the pretty face and heavy. Aww. Leslie's the pretty face. We need to get Michael a spoiler card for MTG. Nah, it's not. That's not gonna happen. I think it's more likely I can get a spoiler card for Flesh and Blood than MTG. Uh, it's not gonna happen. They're not gonna give me a. They don't do that anymore. All right, Dreamweavers, Dust Path Pilgrimage, and a Writhing Beast Hulk. Uh, a few months ago, I applied as a content creator, and they never got back to me. Let's make him spoil Cultivate and Modern Horizons 2. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I, I, I'm okay with it. It's not a big deal. 
spoilers are also just like free labor, right? Like I'd have to do something for free. I, it's okay. I, I, I'm not even gonna talk about it. All right, here we go. Consuming Aftermath. I actually was thinking about playing this in Shane. Ebb unfold. Listen. Vexing Malice Red. Very nice. Someone said they don't like pack openers. Yeah, pack openers are like the dirty pack openers that, that don't really make real content. I, I think they have a point, you know. I'm going to configure video and make this a little bit brighter. I honestly don't think LSS knows who I am, Shin, so I, I don't know. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with my current place in this world of content creating. Okay, we have a foil engulfing light. Gosh, sorry. The rares are... Captain's Call Red, nice. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting. Next. I can't not see Arthas in Engulfing Light. Dude, I see it too. I see it too, Hooch. Here we go. Herald of Ravages, okay, red pitch. Oops. V and a Valiant Thrust. Yeah, I know, I saw. Timmy, I'll, I'll try, I'll try. I'll reach out. Doesn't hurt to ask, doesn't hurt to ask. As silly as it sounds, I like being part of a community that's close and friendly as opposed to a community that's huge but worships the ground their content creator work walks on. Dude, that is like huge to me. I really don't like, so I consider that like a cult of personality and I don't like that. I don't like the cult of personality. That does not give me life. You know, every opening I see a lot of Valiant Thrust. There it's- Ooh, another Majestic! Um, yeah, I mean, you're gonna see a lot of Valiant Thrust, it happens. I was just gonna say this ain't North Korea. <laughs> that's why I unsubbed to Rudy, that's why I'm here. Aww. We are a cult of spice. Don't like Rudy hear you on that. Oh, that's okay. You're gonna be okay. Rudy doesn't care. Rudy does not care. I promise you. All right, here we go. Adrenaline Rush, Ray of Hope, Hungering Slaughter Beast. All right, little six power, Oily Boy. Aether Iron Weave, Prismatic Shield. Prismatic Shield, what the heck? So many of these double rare packs. Yeah, you know, there are definitely a lot of people who follow Rudy who know that Rudy is, how to put this, sometimes not that forthcoming. They're aware that Rudy sometimes, you know, may say things that mislead people. But overall, the TCG community kind of, oh, foil generic majestic rouse the ancients. Very nice, Donnie. That's the spice right there. Yeah, I think that it's very safe to say... Oh, a double double Majestic pack. It's pretty safe to say that if Rudy never like talked about Flesh and Blood, Flesh and Blood would never be where it's at now. So... Oh, it's really good for Bravo and Illusionist? Nice. This box isn't rousing my Ancient, though. <laughs> Ooh. 
Yeah, Rudy is in it to make money. Yes, 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 yes. That is true. That is true. That is undeniable. Oil take flight. All right. This is a must-have, I think, in Bolton. Okay. The Gauntlet, Glisten, and Consuming Aftermath. All right, we got four more packs. Here we go. Can we get another oil rare, Herald of Triumph. But Ironhide Plate. I don't think that inherently makes it bad for the game. Nope, I agree. Ooh, another Majestic! Beacon of Victory. Alan, you are so philosophical. Hey, Albert. What's up? Hope you had a good week. How's it going? Like, if you follow Rudy, there's always information to be gleaned. And it's good to know what, you know, his really diehard fans are going to, like, believe for the next cycle. You know what I mean? It's, it's not... It's not completely, like... Like, if you follow him, it doesn't mean you have to believe everything he says. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Gabe, your situation sounds so funny. I opened two boxes out of a sealed case so far and both had libraries? Albert, what? That is nuts. Right, we have a foil overload. What? Both had libraries? Are you kidding? Oh! Nourishing emptiness. Yes! This is the spice, guys. I like this card a lot. This is a card that when you're making a deck, you should always keep this card in mind as a potential just like a one of generic attack. It's so good. Shane, I have one in my Dorinthia too. I think it's wrong not to. Unless you're already playing double E-Strike, double Command and Conquer. I think you gotta play the Nourishing Emptiness. It's so good. Yeah, Wraith, exactly. If that is your stance, dude, that's great. Alright, last pack for Donnie. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Well, rare glisten. Plate. Majestic. Deeping shadows. All right. Donnie, we couldn't get you a, another legendary in this box. We got a Hooves of the Shadow Beast as well as um, some Majestics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight majestic. So an eight majestic box. Very nice. That is what I want. I want to see some eight majestic boxes. All right, Donnie. Thank you for the support as usual. Put away these cards and go to the next box, which is for John. Oh, grab all this. Oh, um, I'm just gonna put this case here, but I gotta go wash my hands. Be right back.
All right. Oh my gosh, it smells so strong. Oh, I don't like the maple syrup. All right, John, let's go. Let's go. Mm. Right, let's go. Pack number one for John. Here we go. Pack number one, our first foil. Foil Illuminate or discard. We have our equipment. Rise above is our first rare. Pack one, we have our majestic deep rooted evil. Excellent. Might not be the most playable one. It does not block, but it is a majestic. Go. Their foil. Seek enlightenment, yellow pitch. Iron hide. Out muscle. And dimensional gateway, as well as an Urser and a Blasmo Fet token. Mm. All right, next pack. <laughs> this one is like German or something. All right, here we go. Oops, I miscounted. Oh, there we go. Foil Majestic. Mutated Mass. Okay, all right. A Foil Majestic here. You love to see the Foil Majestics. Here we go. Oofs. V of the Vanguard. And a Dusk Path. Pilgrimage. All right, next pack. Oil Express Lightning. I'm Skippers. Convulsions and another Majestic, the Sonata Arcanix. Opened a lot of this today. Have you been pulling a lot of legendaries? Not today. We opened two boxes so far, no legendaries yet. Oh my gosh, here's our cold foil! Ebon Fold. Wow, this is actually not a bad copy of Ebon Fold. The same centering is very similar to the last one. Um. There is a bit of some edge wear right here and right here. Right here, there's a little corner issue. A little corner dot issue there. 
a little corner dot issue there. And this corner is not bad. Probably still, this is like a 9.5 basic because of centering corners is my guess. Um, that's my guess. No moss, no more ebb unfold. This is like the fourth ebb unfold we've opened. <laughs> the last case we opened three, it's kind of nuts. I don't know. I open ebb unfold like no other apparently. All right. Iron hide legs and ooh, a little soul reaping and dust path pilgrimage. Yeah, we had three ebb unfolds in the last case. You gotta know when to have to fold them. You fold them at midnight, obviously. All right, here we go. Two shadow, minnowism, convulsions, foil rare. Okay, halo, rise above blue pitch, and a phantasmify. All right. The next pack. <laughs> For the love of Blasmofet. I'm more of an Urser guy myself. All right, here we go. Impenetrable belief. And just a foil ray of hope. Gauntlets. Dimensional gateway and a red rise above. I hope there's another cold foil in this as well. I hope so as well. All right, next pack. Well, rare, Hal from Beyond. Ironhide Helm, Vexing Malice, and a Majestic Tome of Torments. Heck yeah. That's a good one. I have two of these already. I'm glad to see it being pulled. I think it's going to be really good. Yes, time for the evening stream. Hey, Michael, what's up, Nephilim? I'm trying so hard not to open my boxes. Try harder, dude. It's okay to not open them. Unlimited is out in three weeks. Unlimited out is, is out so soon. Blinding Beam, Aether Iron Weave, Out Muscle, Herald of Judgment. I don't know if it helps you think of it this way, but Kyler, every week you wait and you don't open your boxes is like a week they could appreciate the, the point where you could sell it and get like a free unlimited box. If that makes sense. Here we go, Monarch. Like, if that helps you, if that doesn't help you, then, you know, I, I got nothing. But that's a good way of thinking about it. I don't really want to open Monarch right now. The only reason I'm opening Monarch right now is because I want to make, I want to build um, some decks and I can't do that right now. I'm missing so many Majestics. I've only opened two boxes for myself. You have no idea. Oh, speaking of Majestics, here we go. Spill blood. I'm like trying to build something. And I'm like, okay, I don't have this Majestic, that Majestic, this Majestic. Yeah, dude, Kyler, yeah. Like, I'm gonna open some so that I have the singles to build the decks that I wanna build. And then I'm gonna save the rest. They're gonna be my little investments. They're gonna be some stuff that I'll sell like a few years later. Um, Maybe that's not what you guys wanna hear, but you know, I think I think that's realistic. Thanks for the strict openings. Yeah, dude, my pleasure. 
you're another guy. Like, there's so many people who are into magic. Hide them in a storage unit. Yeah, dude. That's that's the way to go. That's the way to go. Hide them in a storage unit. Ghostly visit. Gallantry gold. Prismatic shield. And a rare glisten. All right, next pack. Ghostly Visit. Merciful Retribution. Little foil action. Stubby. Unhallowed Rites. And a Soul Harvest. Nephilim, are you Casey? I'm so bad at remembering. All right, here we go. On to the next pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Express lightning. Okay, out of sleeves. I'll be right back. Alright, what's the rest of the pack look like? Ebon Fold, Soul Harvest, nice. And an Invigorating Light. Alright. One more pack from this box. Rise above the Ebon Fields. Anything spicy so far? There's a couple of common cold foils. All the shadow ones, apparently. Unhollowed rights. Iron high plate. Tremor. And a pulping. It came out part of Frontline Gaming's ITC for Warhammer. What does that mean, uh, Nathaniel? Hey, Drum Chick, how's it going? Drum Chick, you're one of the most unassuming people I know. You come in, you do little cheers, appreciate it, and you're just like, hi. <laughs> so great. All right. Here we go, what's the foil? Foil rare, Captain's Call. Take it, take it. Yo, Max, thanks for the, the counter cheer. Competitive Warhammer 40k circuit. Oh, I see, I see. International tournament, tournament circuit. Here we go. All right. Double rare pack. <laughs> Drum chick, what's up? Time for things to get real. Cold. Yeah, man. Hope we get some more cold foils. That would be epic. One, two, three. One, two, three, light. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Bolt of Courage. Yo, thanks so much for the cheers. Thank you for the itty bitty cheers. Appreciate it, guys. All right, here we go. Iron Head Legs, Parable of Humility, and Genesis. Another Majestic. That's nice. What you want to see. Genesis. Right. Timmy, why did you choose RIP for the emoji? <laughs> for the, the the little bits emote? Out of curiosity. Go. Oil Warmonger's Recital. Oil. 
Ebon Fold, Out Muscle, and Plow Through is our rare. Okay. It's a zombie trying to pop out of the grave, Michael. I use it on everyone's streams. Oh, okay, okay. I, did, I didn't notice. I didn't notice. X. CW is probably going to... Is that the company name? Is that the company that makes uh, Warhammer? A foil Rift Bind. The Skippers. Seek Horizon. And Unhollowed Rights. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next. Yo, thanks for the hundred bits. Drew Carey definitely will get a little bit of a nerf. Okay. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Drew Carey? Impenetrable Belief is our foil. Ironhide Gauntlet. Vexing Malice. And a Vexing Malice. Right. I did not know you were into Warhammer, um, Will. Alright, we got five packs left out of this. So far we have five Majestics, one Foil Majestic, and an Ebon Fold. So, looking like... Just kind of an average box so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oil Prismatic Shield. Eight. Iron Hide Legs. First rare. Can we get another Majestic? Yes. Yes, we can. Phantasmaclasm. Excellent. All right, here we go. Next. Drum chick, what's up? Thanks for the cheer. All right, here we go. Adrenaline rush, more ground. Here's our foil. Herald of protection. Stubby, helping, and consuming aftermath. Okay. So, so far, super average box. Six Majestics, one Foil Majestic, and one Cold Foil. Cold foil, if we were to grade it, probably is a 9.5 basic. So a little bit above average, but not like excellent. In my in my uh humble opinion. Alright, big little brandish foil engulfing light. Alright, iron hide helm, plow through red pitch. And a battlefield blitz. Alright, two rares. And two more packaroonies. Here we go. Boneyard Marauder. 
Aether, Iron Weave, Phantasmify, and another Majestic! Gosh, this Majestic's really good. Arc Light Sentinel. This card in paper does not look good, but it is actually very good as long as you can play it. How hard is it to get sent cards to get graded? Is it hard? I wouldn't say it's hard. It just takes a long time now. Herbert. And it's expensive. Yo, thanks for the little bit. Thank you guys. The little bits here and there. Little bit, bit, bit. All right, last pack. I'm pretty happy with this box, all things considered, because we got that last Majestic. Um, if we could get a cold foil and the clothes, that would be, that'd be super. Here we go, pound for pound. Seek, Enlightenment, Red, Pitch, all right. The Brocade. And a Plow Through, all right. Okay. Well, that's the box. We got eight Majestics. Uh, slightly above average. I usually expect seven. I usually expect seven. We have our seven Majestics. A lot of them are very playable. This one's just kind of the one that's maybe not playable. The Foil Mutated Mass. That's like the main one. That's potentially not that playable. It is our Foil Majestic. Right. Well, John, thank you for sponsoring that. Thanks for supporting me. That's two common cold foils open so far from the box, the case. Right. Hey, what's up, Earth Savior, by the way? I see you. I see you. Bring back the case and uh dump out the last two boxes. Mm. But one of the boxes right here, you can kind of see it. And we'll do a box battle time. The first box is Falcon versus Max Fun. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my. I should smell the cards. It's so, it smells like maple syrup. It's such hardcore maple syrup. <laughs> Earth Savior, that emote gets me every time. All right, we gotta shuffle these packs. Make things a little bit random. Yo, Max! Okay, I'm glad you're awake. I'm glad you're awake. Isn't it morning? It's like early morning there, right? All right, here we go. Happy Saturday, Max. Thank you for spending your Saturday morning with your old mic. Let's uh, divvy up these packs and do something like this. Wait, then. Okay. Five. Five for each person. Oh, uh, Leslie, yeah, can you delete the Monarch Box Wars from the form? We're just gonna do this case tonight. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. 9, 9, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12. Alright, let me just make sure that each person has 12 packs. 
All right. Falcon has 12 packs. Thanks, babe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What's your streaming schedule look like this coming week? This coming week will be the most interesting week I have. It's going to be like, I'm not working, but I'm also busy. So, I don't know. I'm most likely going to try to commit to streaming every Friday. Um, this month. But that might change after this month. So. Alright. Falcon, you got pack number one. Thank you for asking, Earth Savior. I know it's important for Twitch streamers to have a schedule. But this week is a little bit different. A little bit different. A bit different for me. This is a winner takes all. Yes. It's a super high stakes battle. Alright. Three... Or hey Justin, okay, sounds good. We have a War Tune Herald. Good to see you, Justin. Justin, I sold the ones in that picture, but I got a restock recently, <laughs> and I'm selling those two. All right, pack number one: oil, War Tune Herald, and a couple of rares. What's pack number one for Max? Here we go. Justin, I sold those in... I sold those in like 24 hours. <laughs> they were in the hallway. They never got into my apartment. All right. Ooh! Oil Majestic for Max to start. That's a solid start, but... You know, we're going to need some, some real spice for that. We're going to need a terrible box for that to, that to be the winning, winning stake. Oh my gosh, a double, a double hitter. Hexagore, the Death Hydra. This is a majestic non-foil weapon. All right. Hey, where was the token? Oh, here's the token. Uh, the token and the common equipment do not need to be featured. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the majestics and right here, all the foils here, right? And the champions will go here. What we'll do. What we'll do. Okay, next pack. Wait, oops, I should go Falcon next. The stipulation is the most valuable card. The most valuable card takes everything. All right, Hermit, have a great night. Good luck in the draft, have fun. All right, we have a foil rare here. Riding Beast Hulk. All right. Aether Iron Weave. Dust Path Pilgrimage and a Seek Horizon, as well as a token. Max Fun, let's go. Brandish. Hey, Foil Rare Glisten. Hey, right, that's pretty. Iron Hide Legs. Prismatic Shield. Hey, another Majestic. Are you serious? Alright. Looks like Max is getting all the Majestics. I will put the Majestics in that pile. Here we go. Falcon. It doesn't matter who gets the most Majestics. You just have to have the most valuable card. So, as long as you have the most valuable card... That's everything is at stake. Here we go. Lunar Tide Plunderer. It might mean that. It might mean that. Time Skippers. Rise Above. And Invigorating Light. Alright, Max.
The cold foil doesn't mean you won. There are more valuable cards than cold foils for sure. Like for example, the foil majestics are a little bit more valuable than the... Some of the foil majestics are a little bit more valuable than cold foils. Alright, here we go. Falcon, the next pack. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Here we go. Eleven. Herald of Tenacity. Right? My heart's racing. I know. This is crazy. Ironhide Gauntlet. Soul Harvest. The Hal from Beyond. Hey, Max, your turn. Okay, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here comes a foil. Foil. Minnowism, Seeping Shadows, and another Majestic, Bolting Blade. Oh boy. Oh boy, Max. It's, uh, three Majestic, four Majestics already. Okay, Falcon. I know. Here we go. Alright, see you Nathaniel. Remonger's Recital. Void Wraith. Belittle. Spew Shadow and... Dust Path Pilgrimage. Oil Rare. Dream Weavers. Weavers. Tremor. Tremor. All right, guys. I don't know. This this one's been like my breath is baited. Okay, Max. This is pack number six for both players, for both battlers. We haven't seen a cold foil yet. We've seen four majestics. They've all gone to Max. Here we go. Another foil minnowism. Gallantry gold. Hoping. And a merciful retribution. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Foil Yinti Yanti on this one. Either Ironweave, Tremor, and a Herald of Triumph. Alright, Max. Pack number seven for both players. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Here we go. Here's a foil. What? Another hooves? Okay. Open fold. Rare. And a majestic in the same pack. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. Guys, is this reminding you of any of the other boxes we've opened? Like. That's another duplicate. At least not an ebb and fold. I guess so. But it's we already got a hooves from this case. Box one had the hooves.
And also a Shadow of Blasmofet. Hey, did get a cold foil, but I would be super sad if this box can't produce another cold foil. Because the other two boxes only had one common cold foil. You know what I mean? Now we have all four hooves. There we go. Foil Prismatic Shield. Okay, it's another hooves plow through in a red glisten. Alright. Pack number eight, I believe. Yeah. Pack number eight. Maybe because this box smells like maple syrup, it's too sweet and not spicy enough. Is that what's going on? Yinti Yanti. Seek Enlightenment. Oil Herald of Tenacity. V of the Vanguard and Convulsions. You like, you go to the store, you see someone smelling every single box, and you're like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, I'm trying to find the spicy ones. <laughs> oh man, okay. That was pack number eight. I'm gonna pack number nine. Let's go. The sweetness is attracting all the hooved goats. I mean, what's crazy is. Look at the hits on Falcon's side. Like, this isn't even a battle. This is a slaughter right now. Oil Memorial Grounds. Right. Gallantry Gold. I know, I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't say things like that. Seek Horizon and a Convulsions. But all it takes is one card, Falcon. One card to rule them all. All right, Max. Dude, these are weighable, Alan. These are weighable. Multiple people have been weighing these and proving that if you only open the lightest packs in a box, you will get the cold foil. It's like super, super, it's like very, very, very hard for you not to get the cold foil if you, if you only open the light packs. Courageous Steel Hands. Phantasmify and another Majestic. All right. <laughs> yeah, apparently co uh, the cold foils are slightly lighter. I mean, that's why, you know, like don't don't buy any loose packs. Like I wouldn't buy loose packs with that knowledge. I wouldn't buy loose packs anyway, but I wouldn't buy loose packs with this knowledge. All right, Falcon, here we go. Come on. Talisman. Zealous Belting, Pound for Pound, Oil Yinti Yanti. This is a little bit depressing, not gonna lie. Beast Hulk and Out Muscle. I'd still buy loose packs from you. Aww. Well, I don't want to sell loose packs. That's like the main thing. I saw someone selling loose packs, uh, and he disclosed that he already weighed and he got the, pull the Cold Foil Legendary. But he was only selling them for $10. I almost bought them, to be honest. And dollars is really good for a pack. Ooh, we got a talisman of dowsing. So people are choosing this card as the card to kind of go deep on. It's kind of like a crack bobble. You know what I mean? People are buying up this card like crazy. It's weird. Anyways, nice little pull. All right, Dreamweavers. Dimensional gateway. Unhollowed rights. Oh, it's short printed. I see, I see. Yeah, John, I almost bought the, the $10 packs. I legit almost bought them. All right, here we go. Come on. This so next one is gonna be the foil. Foil War Tune Herald. Okay. Oh man. That last box better be the most spiciest box ever. Or else this is just a really below average case. Consuming Aftermath, Herald of Judgment. 
right? Here we go. No L yet, Shin. Brandish. Foil plow through. Iron had legs, unhollowed rights, and a valiant thrust. Okay. Last two packs. Hey Terry, what's up? Terry, oh man, we've opened, I opened a loose box for myself, and all I got was an iron hide legs. I only got five Majestics that box. That was a painful box. And then this is box number three of the first case that we opened. And um, we've opened a hooves. So this is the second hooves of the case and an ebon fold. So only common cold foils open so far. All right, here we go. Their foil. Come on, come on, Falcon, let's go. Just a foil common. Zealous belting, phantasmify, and a plow through. This box war is incredible. Every single majestic has gone to max. Literally every single majestic, and the foil majestic, and the cold foil. All right, Max, let's go. I want to kick today. Pull the CF calendar gold, CF stubby, CF footsteps, and a library. Yo, that would be the best case. Those I'm missing all of those cold foils, John. That would be epic. Holy moly, I'm so I'm so happy for you. Yo, another foil majestic. This one's gorgeous. This is the one I'm trying to collect, actually. The non-foil version. This is just so beautiful. Look at this art. Invert existence. Of course, Max pulls it. Because, you know, at this point we've established that I guess it's what's going to happen. Alright. Gallantry Gold. A Blitz. And a Blitz. Battlefield Blitz and a Battlefield Blitz. Alright. Here we go. Guys. Let's save this for last. Let's save this for last. We'll open Max last pack first. I'm so sorry, Falcon. If you never sponsor anything on this channel again, I would understand. I would I would so understand. Over here praying. Alright, so this one is for Max. Okay, Max gets to rally the rear guard as his foil. And Brocade. Okay, so Max gets another Majestic. Okay, then. And it's a generic Majestic, too. <gasps> what? How did this happen? This is actually pretty nuts. Yo, fam, I scalped? What does that mean? You bought? Like, what, is, how, what does it mean when you scalp like that? Like, you sold? It seems like you bought them, Vexcore. Um, yeah, Max got all the Majestics. Vex4, if you think, if you don't need the capital, I would hold on to them. These boxes typically only go up. Oh my gosh, here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, chat. Okay, chat, here we go. No! Oil minnowism. I'm skippers. How did this happen? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Falcon. I don't even know, man. Th this is like... Yeah, we didn't pull any Majestics for Falcon. You guys saw me. I shuffled the packs and then I divvied them up. And then Max got every single Majestic pulled, as well as a Cold Foil. It's been a fun ride. I don't even understand how that happens. Like, this isn't even a light, this is a an 8 Cold, 8 Majestic box. It would have been worse if he pulled all the Majestics and then lost because of the Cold Foil. That I agree. But, wow. Excellent box. Lots of hits. 
Um, this is my favorite. Look at that. I don't know what to say. This was a war crime. All right. Well, Max, congrats on winning the first battle of the night. Or the first monarch battle, at least. And I am so sorry, Falcon. Michael, since Max won, can I get his bulk? Uh, I, so actually, because of what I'd said in the chat, I, I'm going to probably just ship Max all the bulks. And Max, this is including international shipping, so, um, I'm going to reach out to you, because I think that the first edition, like, like, commons and stuff are actually worth something. Like, it's not just, like, cheap bulk, you know what I mean? Just because it's first edition. I'm sure if, if this was unlimited stuff, I would give it all to you, to me. That that's not, not a big deal. I, I just I'm gonna talk to Max a little bit. Um these battles are not cheap. TCG player has these at $440. We're almost a hundred dollars above that. We're over a hundred dollars above that, so I'm very aware of that. Um Anyways, just, yeah. A high price begets better service, is what I want to say. All right, let me put these away. And well, we got Brad. And Donnie, here we go, here we go. Last box of the night for Monarch. Um, I will open one for myself for fun, if the schedule permits, if the schedule permits. Which the schedule, yeah, could permit. I could see it permitting. All right, same thing. Let's shuffle this. So, the reason why uh, Leslie wrote Brad P, congrats. Brad's getting married tomorrow. Congratulations, Brad. Um, Schmeggies. I'm not sure if I was supposed to say your name. But congratulations. Give this guy a round of applause. And you're watching my stream the night before. I'm grateful. I, you know what I did the night before my wedding. Um, I invited some groomsmen, and we played sealed. No, no, we played. Yeah, we played chaos sealed. We played chaos sealed until like 3 a.m. <laughs> so bad. The wedding was at like a 10, and we played some chaos sealed until either th yeah, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. It was bad. But I hadn't been able to play with those guys for like months. So, you know. Gotta cut me a break. No, I, I wasn't part- I was playing Magic. That's what I was doing. Three, three, four, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. I spent more money on that card for myself. All right, here we go. Brad, pack number one for you. Wonder if he's around. Hopefully he's around. Pack number one. Let's go. Pack number one. We have a foil rift bind blue pitch. That'll be rares. Two rares. Okay, nice. Sorry that I, I I gave up the ruse. I gave up the ruse, Brad. All right, Donnie, let's go. It's funny. We spend paper to get cardboard wrapped in plastic to put the shiny cardboard in more plastic protected by a plastic tech box. I had a 
gathering with a streamer in magic? What? Alright, Donnie, pack number one. Oil second swing? His nose is really weird. Swimming aftermath and out muscle. Rad. Here we go. One, two, here we go. Foil rare out muscle. Boom. Okay, our first majestic. Guardian of the Shadow Realm. And an out muscle. Can't spell Brad without Rad. I'm sure he hasn't heard of that one yet. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Guys, the whole box has not produced a legendary yet. I would love to change that. I would love to change that. Be little. Seek Enlightenment. Recital. Foil Majestic by Donnie. That's the current hero right now, the current champion. Ironhide Plate, Convulsions, and a Tremors. Brad, your turn. So far, the Majestics are already split. They're already split. Here we go. Ten. Brandish. Eleven. Foil Wartune Herald. Halo. Dimensional Gateway. Unhallowed Rites. Double Rare Pack. With a gorgeous and terrifying War Tune Herald foil. Here we go. <laughs> Timmy! I appreciate it, but I am not the legend. I'm glad that you got a legendary. Though, Kano is very kind of hard to play for Flesh and Blood new players, but for like Magic players, Kano isn't that bad, I think. After some practice. Oil Rising Solar Tide. Time Skippas. Listen. And a Battlefield Blitz. Alright, Brad, let's go. Our foil. Enigma Chimera, Ironhide Gauntlet, Dust Path Pilgrimage. Yo, we got a Majestic Luminaris. The centering on this one is pretty dang good. It is a non-foil, but I think it was like, when I checked it was like 80. We should plan on checking <laughs> How are cards off center? Is this the a precursor to a joke? Like what makes a printer print them off center? I don't know. The printer's not aligned. The piece of paper is not perfectly aligned. Could be the way they're cut as well. Print sheets are cut. Sometimes they're manually cut. Ooh, okay, I skipped straight to the foil. Vexing Malice. Could be that the, the, the things that are cutting the printers are not sharp. I don't know. Blood Drop Brocade. Hoping. And Invigorating Light. Alright, Brad. Let's go. Warmonger's Recital, Ghostly Visit, Courageous Steel Hand, and Seeping Shadows, and a Glisten. 
Oh yeah, Tavis King knows a lot of that, that kind of stuff. Alright, next pack. Guys, where's the spice? I'm never going to... Alright guys, before you buy a case of Monarch, if you're able to sniff it, make sure it doesn't smell like maple syrup. Alright, Lunar Type Plunder, Blinding Beam, Oil Rare Phantasmify, Down to Gold, Unhollowed Rites, Yo, another Majestic! Dimensional Crossroads. What's up, Commander Yoshi? Alright, Brad, your turn. Here we go. Yo! Foil Raiden! Foil Majestic Weapon! Okay. The back. Jeez, wait, 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 hold up. That corner is probably one of the cleanest corners I've ever seen on a cold foil. And that corner is not awful. And that corner is not bad. And that corner is a little bit bad. This has 9.5 corner potential. The centering is not atrocious. This could quad. This legitimately could quad. And that's all that matters for grading. Like this is actually something I might grade, Brad. Um, this looks good. This looks good. I've seen enough bad cold foils to know that this actually looks good. And I, like the moment I flipped it, and I didn't see anything like this is edge potential. So you see that little thing? That's a potential issue of edge. And then that's a potential issue with corner. And on a good day, we could get 9.5 edge, 9.5 corner. Hopefully our surface is just perfect because since it's been open, it's pretty much gone straight to a sleeve. And um, centering looks not bad. The centering on a bad day, they could give you a nine, but this is good. This is good. This is a good cold foil. Like, it's worth sending in to try to get the, the almighty quad. And the reason why um, this hit is better looking than the other hits is I noticed that the majestic cold foils are typically... Uh, they're on a different print sheet, I think. I think. That's why they're so rare. Like, this is a nice hit. This is definitely a nice hit. Alright, it's, it's right there. Alright, what's the rest of the pack? Out from Beyond and Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell. Actually, I'll put it right here. All right, that's spicy. That's spicy, guys. Donnie's turn. Um, I have a cold foil Luminaris as well, Zach, and its centering is atrocious. It's on the same print sheet as the Legendary because that and the Legendary came on the same box, and they're both, like, the centering is, like, 8.5. I haven't seen that bad centering in a while. Foil Rare, Hal from Beyond. Ether Iron Weave, and... Ooh, another Majestic. Tome of Divinity. This is potentially a donation to Brad and his wedding. Yeah, 520 is a good start. Raiden, although is a foil majestic cold foil, Raiden is not that playable. So... I would say all the legendaries are worth more than cold foil Raiden, but I can't say the same about all the cold foil weapons. Randy, you missed the cold foil being opened! A cold foil majestic. Right, here we go. 
Oh my gosh! Brad beating Donnie immediately with the cold foil majestic. He's like, you got a Tome of Divinity? I got a Tome of Divinity. Alright. Gallantry Gold. Convulsions. And a Beast Hook. Alright. Game over, wedding victory. It's not over until the last pack is opened. Yeah, CF Raiden should... I mean... Yeah. That's reasonable. Jim, that's reasonable. That one, I would pay more than market price for. Just based off, you know, my knowledge. Cross the line. Foil. Ironhide Plate. Dimensional Gateway. And a Valiant Thrust. Alright. Foil cross the line. Alright. Brad, let's go! Okay, we got ourselves a War Tune Herald. And invigorating light pulls a pulping. Donnie. Go. Hey, what's up? So late. Seek enlightenment. Overload. Oil impenetrable belief. Ebb unfold. Seek horizon. And a tremor. Wait, from four cases, you only got one majestic. Oh, okay, one majestic cold foil, not one cold foil in total. Brad, let's go. Your turn. go. Oil illuminate. Right. Hooves. Herald of Triumph. Dimensional Gateway. All right. Next. You think the foiling on illuminate would be brighter? Hey, we do have some more Pokemon. Feel free to check out the sponsor form and fill something out. All right, here we go. Rally, oil rise above, cream weavers, endless maw, another rise above. All right, Brad. Fab does have a story built into it. Well, not like a narrative story, but there's a lot of lore. Oil ripped from reality. Dream Weavers. Yo, a spicy majestic. Nourishing emptiness. That's Dorinthia being impaled. That's Ira being impaled. It's like Katsu having to jump off something. No, that's Katsu. Maybe that's Bravo. Really cool. Nice little ma majestic. All right, here we go. Small amount of story, yeah. Each character has their own story, like their origin story. Rising Solar Tide, Foil, Ironhide, Vexing Malice, Valiant, Rust. Alright guys, last two packs. Last two packs. Here we go. 
Do you do Pokemon live streams? I do. We just opened. We opened a couple of waifus today. A little nurse from Silver Lance. Rising Solar Tide, Bolt of Courage, Ether Iron Weave, Herald of Triumph, Rising Beast Hulk. Um, 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 um. Donnie! Here we go. Adrenaline Rush is our foil. Blood Drop Brocade and Double Rare. Okay, last pack, Brad. Boom. Oh, yeah, sorry, I keep calling her the nurse. My bad. Wait, is the floor trainer literally called the doctor? Brad is Brad. Let's go, Brad. All right, here we go. A little. Void Wraith. We got the double cold foil! In the very last pack for Brad too! Alright Donnie, if you somehow open like a legendary or something, I I would I would be shocked. I would literally be shocked. I would utterly be shocked. All right, the rest of that pack, those who are wondering. Terrible and Captain's Call, so double rare. And the very last pack. Let's go. Yeah, library is still out there. Library is still out there. Donnie, let's go. Last pack. Oil War Tune Herald. Yeah, this one's going to Brad. Congratulations, Brad. I hope your wedding goes super smoothly tomorrow. Thank you so much for sponsoring Donnie and Brad. Sorry, Donnie, couldn't get you the win here. That was an excellent box. The best box of the case. Um... Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Double coal foil. We opened four boxes before that. And, uh... Yeah, that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. This was a... Um... Seven foil... Seven majestic box. Technically eight if you count the cold foil. Um, so good box. Good box. For sure. All right. Uh, sure. We'll put battle styles on the next live stream. No problem. We can do that. All right. So I think I want to open a little bit of Pokemon before we go forward. We're going to open the Black Jet box for Jeff C. Jeff, hopefully you're here. Okay. 
Okay, Jeff. Congrats, Brad P. That's so exciting. Okay, I think we're opening this box for Jeff. I'm a little tired today. We woke up kind of early because um, we got an electrician to come to hot to hang like a chandelier over our dining room. Dude, because I sleep all the these and the maxes and Amy, it looks cool. Okay. And then all the hollows, I do every three. I put this sleep. Every three. Okay. Yeah. Do you just do you cut them first? Uh, well, I've been opening them. Okay. By the time I finish cutting, you might, um... You done eating? Yeah. I'm so hungry, I almost, like, fainted. You almost fainted? So oh my gosh. Oh, it's a zombie thing! I know who you are! I think I know who most of the regulars are. At least. Okay, sorry, I know this is like extremely Monday. <laughs> but I don't have confidence that I can just open them with my hands. Anyway, so yeah, we woke up early because we had to meet the electrician so that he could install the chandelier. But I'm so happy with how it turned out. Maybe Michael can take a photo of it later and post it. I wish I was better at like doing stuff around the house myself. I know nothing about electrical wires. Well, okay, it's not like a fancy one. It's like a very, I don't know, it's a pretty standard lamp thingy that goes on the ceiling. <laughs> Leslie, I how you see many lovely. Hey, what does that mean? I guess this is a time that most people can just pick a bio break or something. <laughs> Be. Yeah, I hope I can see a lot of cute Pokemon too. You guys, it is also getting really hot in New York. I was wearing shorts today. I feel like there's no in between. It's either cold or it's just hot.
What is even the main difference between black jet and silver lake? Ah, it's getting so warm. I'm like sweating all the time. Wait, another a Pokemon rides another Pokemon. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I am done. All right, now we can just open the packs. Duff? Oh, this is so cute. Psyduck. Ghastly? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I actually know this one. That's a Fletchinder. That evolves into something. I forgot the name. I don't know if that's it. Okay. okay. Ooh, nice! This is a full art trainer, right? Yeah, this is a hit! This is so cute! Oh, this this trainer is a cook. Cool. Oh my gosh, I love this Pokemon. This is a cutie play. This really large chipmunk. Yeah, it's Mareep. No, it's it's Ampharos. Yeah, gold and silver were the days. <gasps> wow, it's like gold. But what is it? Oh, pretty. Well, let me see this. Okay. Okay. This is a nice box so far. I don't think. Cool, whatever this is. A llama? Okay. Oh. Oh, I think this is the Emperor's. Flaffy. Flaffy's the middle one, which evolves from Mareep. Okay, okay. We got it straight. Look, he's showing his booty. It's cute. Oh, this is the thing that's on the pack. 
That's cool. What is this puppy? Okay. Wait, is this the same guy that we pulled? Yeah, I think it's the same guy. Shadow Rider Cowley Rex. Let's see. Cool, Celebi. Form. Oh my gosh, I spent like an hour trying to catch cast form on my Nintendo 3DS. Cast form is so hard to catch. Okay. Big octopus. Oh, speaking of octopus, have you guys seen that documentary on Netflix? My octopus teacher. I think it also won an Oscar for best documentary feature. It was so good. I like love octopus now. I don't know if I can even eat them anymore. All right. Ooh, this is Metagross, right? Metagross V. Costco has Wagyu beef? I didn't even know that. $100 a pound of beef. Pretty steep. Uh, when did Gengar become Lickitung? That makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I have a hard time spending eight dollars. I feel you. Oh, this is another cello beat. It's a little different because it's just me. Costco have samples anymore? That's what I like about Costco. popularity rankings these days is it pikachu number one then after that i don't know i feel like charizard is like so coveted okay. two more packs jeff the costco sells a barico ham legs what the heck look Cutie with a booty. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, Jeff, last. Fuck. Okay, that was anti climactic. Alright, but you did get a floor trainer and this gold shofar looking thing.
Oh my gosh, I felt like I spent just as much time just opening the packs. Goodness gracious. Yeah, what is that horn? I have no idea. Okay. So, we have opened this box. Um... I think Michael should be coming back soon. Okay. Yeah, because the next thing is a commander battle and... Clearly, I would not know how to do that. Let me be said, I sent in money for a mystery booster pack, but I'm going to send in $19 for a Commander Legends battle. Okay, sounds good. Okay, Michael's coming back, everyone. Hey, okay. before you, before you start opening, Finish this glitch. So then, <laughs> yeah. all that time. Oh yeah, I got Michael a side salad instead of fries today. <clears throat> all that time, side salad. And afterward, I had all this like vegetable in my mouth, and I was trying to get it out, and then I couldn't. And then I had to, and then I floss, and then I brush my teeth. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, it's time for a draft battle. Wahoo. Leslie, thanks for covering for me. Hey, Gabe, one thing you could do, Gabe, is um, you could post them in the Discord, see if people can identify them as expensive cards. <sighs> Cultivate! Cultivate! Oh. Um... The only thing I want to check... Is... If my wife subbed my fries with a salad, that would be a war declaration. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. All right. James, are you around? Hit my Godzilla. We're going to go ahead and open this a box. And let's go. I think what I'm going to do is do another predict for all my boys. Alright guys, my mouse is running out of juice. Gotta charge it. Yeah, these draft boosters are going up. They're actually going up. It's crazy. Yeah. I see it. I see it. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I know, I saw. Back! Wait, it's so bright now! What was I doing wrong earlier? I wonder. Heavenly poles. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to be. I was confused why it was so dark earlier. Divvy up these packs. Oh, I was supposed to do a predict. Okay. Let me set up that predict real quick. Got uh, distracted. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's the prediction. Are we going to get a Lotus? Actually, no, no. Um, top... Are we going to get a big three? Yes to Lotus, Tudor, Dre. Yes. Lotus, Lotus, Tudor, Dre. No. Got that prediction. You're going to get a spice or nah. Spice or nah. Spice or nah. All in on Lotus. Well, this time it's a little bit more forgiving. You don't need to get a Lotus to win on that predict. How do you load the prediction? I'm not seeing it. Uh, are there still any MTG spots left? Yeah, there are some MTG spots left. All right, here we go. Francis, pack number one. Court of Grace. Wow, okay. Court of Grace, two legendaries, and a foil. How do you load the prediction? I don't know how to load it. I just know how to give it to you guys. Francis, let's go. I, I, yeah, I don't know, Alan. All right, pack number two for Francis. Let's go. Go. All right, not bad. Underground Stadium. And again. Oil Moss Diamond. Thanks. All right. P-I-M-P, -P, my Godzilla. Let's go. Yeah, Francis is in the lead. He's also the only person we've opened packs for so far. Hold be sure for PIMP. Your lock and a Lathiel. Excellent first pack for PIMP. Pack number two. <laughs> Here we go. Rings of Bright Hearth, not a bad rare. And <clears throat> that's all. <clears throat> all right. All for PIMP. Q tip man, let's go.
Ah. Yeah, three visits is a $4 card. Yep. All right, here we go. Slash the ranks. Numa. That's it. Next. I mean, even when we started doing these, uh, th three visits was already a three dollar uncommon, so not exactly, you know, gone up a ton. Profane transfusion. Yeah, not not much there, Paul. Let's go. Here we go. Vessel is a couple bucks. Vessel is a couple bucks. But Albert, these are winner takes all, so I'm not too caught up about those. Paul. Okay, foil three visits we'll put aside. It's like four dollars and fifty cents. All Nyx. Yeah, how did you guys give points on the prediction? I really don't know. Here we go. Sats will. And Yara, Arkelos, and a foil rare. And Beacon. Hey, Francis. Back to you. Let's go. We go. Here we go. Arcane Signet. Nice. Spectator seeding another triple rare pack. Guys, I'm never gonna get sick of this. This is just gravy train. Arcane Signet, two dollars, right? That's a little bit of value in the uncommon slot, you know, here and there. We have Kamal's Will and a Hamza, the hamster. <laughs> All right, P-I-M-P. -P. Who needs double masters when we have triple commander legends already? <laughs> I would not be surprised if they did another commander legends like product. It's very popular. Flamekin Herald. P-I-M-P. Modern Horizons, yeah, it's like a commander product for sure. I mean, everything's a commander product now. Technically. Right? Everything's a commander pro Oh my gosh, it's Sakashima! It's honorary top four. Oh man, PIMP, you're just killing it. Yeah, 27 bucks. Alright, Q-Tip man, let's go. Hey, what's up, Maddie? Hope you're still the high end. Missed the rare land cycle in the last pack. Oopsies. Okay, go we'll grab that. I got, I got excited. I saw the Sakashima. I didn't even. Oh my gosh! There was a training center in there. Cute man, you are sharp. All right, let's go. Is Hulpritcher really more than Sakashima? That's crazy to me. Quarter Bounty. And just a etched foil Slark. All right, all A. Yeah, dude. The Sakashima is more than Hull Breacher. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Right, here we go. Demonic Lore. The Drudge. Right. Paul, let's go. Is it Hull Breacher 34? Uh, maybe? 
if there is a price discrepancy, I'll go look at TCG player because the bot only. Oh my gosh, opposition agent. The bot only gives us the like market prices, which are very fungible. And charcoal diamond. Francis, back to you. Hull is 27, Sack is 28. Okay. So they're close. Dawn Blade Regent. Dawn Glade Regent. Alright, Francis. This one's not looking too hot. There we go. Apex Devastator. Excellent. All right. P I M P my Godzilla in the lead. <clears throat> yeah, this box is pretty good. It's a nice <clears throat> good amount of value. If we could get just one of those big 3, then we'll be above EV. At least what was paid. I think all right, PMI MP. Oh, uh, Cam. So far, the spicy hits are the Op Agent, Hull Breacher, and Sakashima. The spicy pull so far. Can we see that foil feast of succession? Uh, I, I, it's, it's in the big pile. All right, here we go. This is PIMP. The foiling on these are so bad. All right. Q-tip man. <clears throat> Let's go. Yeah, we haven't really hit that many mythics yet, so. Amphimutineer. A moss diamond. Pretty diamond. <clears throat> you tip man. Let's go. Yeah, they're foggy looking. That's a good way to describe it. I don't like them. Vault of Champions, another on the lands. And a foil here. Ooh, a foil Belby. I don't think that's going to cut it, though. I don't think that's going to cut it, Q tip man. Not both the edge foils, but. Nope, nope. All right, Paul. Two packs left. Two packs left. Okay, that's that's not it. Triumphant Reckoning. Not the Majestic we're looking for. There might only be one Majestic possible left. I guess there's only one pack left, so... Most likely we're only going to see one Majestic. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, what am I saying Majestic? go oh just a rare okay well this one goes to PIMP my Godzilla dude I've been saying majestic all the time now I, I do this all the time um that is just what happens now you guys are gonna have to accept it you guys are gonna have to accept it <laughs> it is who I am I'm majestic all right um, just putting the, the valuable cards to the side to give them a sleeve, but PIMP takes this one home. Four of the dual lands in this box. And Apex Predator Rings of Bright Hearth will get a sleeve too. Good night, folks. All right, good night, Paul. Thanks so much for the battle sponsorship. Oh yeah, Alejandro, you don't need to pay shipping for battles. So I appreciate you.
Yeah, that wasn't the best because we didn't have all the super spicy hits, but <clears throat> it was still pretty good. Nice little box. Like, what do you expect nowadays? You know what I mean? From boxes? Wait. Oh my, that's not a 400 count. Whoops. Hey, what's up, Rocky? Came to watch the typing stream. Nice drum solo. Alejandro, we already sent it to you. We sent Leslie already sent the five dollars back. Not your mistake. We should make it more clear. Okay. Uh, P I M P, my Godzilla. Wait, this is a 400 count. There's so much. Oh, okay. There's more stuff. Let's see. Go. Hey, what's up? Mr. Nathan. All right. Okay. What's next on the schedule? Zendikar collectors. All right, you guys know what that means, right? We got to do the thing. Got to do the thing. Let's roll a dice, roll an 11, randomize 11 times, once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just be sure. Yep, yep, 11 times. Here we go. Stephen L and MJ are our box 
Hopper. Oops. Oops. Uh, there we go. Steven L and MJ are our box topper winners. Pray for heaven to open me up on me tonight. No dying though. <laughs> Steven L. Number one. MJ is number two. No one get mad or jelly, but I pulled a couple puppy and red belittles today. All right. All right. Nathan, what time is it in New Zealand right now? Just wondering. And also, MN Credit Valley, hello again. Welcome, welcome. Here we go. I'm gonna shuffle this just a little bit one more time. All right, I'm just getting distracted. All right, yo, Yigo, you are pack number one. And Cam, MJ, Matt Hermit, Stephen L, and Timmy, last pack. Let's go. Pack number one. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, the prediction did end. I'm sorry, guys. All right, choose prediction. Answer was no. Start a prediction. Are we going to get a, a foil expedition fetch land? New prediction. It's 220 on a Saturday. Okay. Okay. Cool. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. All right, yo, you go. Pack number one. Here we go. Foily Boys, Oil Forest Mall of the Sky Claves, Soul Shatter, Prowling Felidar, Dreadworm, Clearwater Pathway, Murkwater Pathway, here we go, Foil Jerby, and a Master of Winds. No, yo, you go, that was not the spice. That pack was not the spice pack. All right, Cam, four packs. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, you go with the emojis describing everything. All right. Oh my gosh, pack number one for Cam is a spicer. Uh, maybe I'm logging to PayPal for a quick second. Actually, okay, I'm 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 off PayPal.
Sorry guys, sorry guys. <laughs> Hagra mauling. And a Hagra brood pit. Yeah, how much is this Agadim's Awakening? It's $17, $16.60 .60 for the extended art. We'll take it. A Kindy Ox, the Pickaxe, Bright Climb Pathway, Grim Climb Pathway, and wow! Cam with the first pack! Sea of Clouds. Can I get a price check on the Sea of Clouds? Cam, pack number two. Here we go. Throne of McKinney. You needed that one? Nice, Cam. Throne of McKinney, Akiri, and Kazandu Mammoth. All right. Spitfire Legak, and Anawan the Rune Thief. Okay. All right, Cam. Pack number three. So it's $25 for that one, for the ZNE Sea of Clouds. Here we go. A Druru Paragon, Maul of the Skyclaves, Legak, Elemental, Nissa of Shadowed Bows, and a Foil Extended Art Legion Angel. We'll give Nissa a sleeve on the account that she is a Planeswalker and Mythic. And the last pack. Can you keep saving my pull until I get a fetch? Okay, I can. All right, here we go. We got the Maddening Cacophony, Aura, Scythe Cat, Legak, Jace. And I'm so sorry, I just straight cut to it. Foil Extended Art Akiri and a Jace. Where Rocky has a secret tech. He's in the know. Rocky, you're an insider. All right, MJ. With two packs, as well as a second box hopper. My uncle works at Cardamundi. You are an insider. Here we go. Hey, Forsaken Monument, pack number one for MJ. NA Seagate Stormcaller, Double Mythic, the Jerby, Elemental, Phylath. What do we have here? A Glass Pool Mimic. Oil Extended Art. Nice. All right, I gotta start a new sleeves. Ugh. <laughs> I'm listening. All right, how about pack number two for MJ? Let's go. Here we go. Brawling Barons, Rackma, <laughs> Rocky, McKindy, Zandu, Branch Loft Pathway, and a Foil Extender Myriad Construct. That's a no bueno. That's a no bueno. Give these a sleeve. MJ will come back to you with the box toppers in a jiffy. The Mad Hermit coming in with one pack. I will never forget the Michael's opposite stonks. <laughs> what did I say was opposite stonks? Call time. There we go. Nighthawk Scavenger. Crawling Barons, Nectar Pot, Hellhound, Valkyrie Explorations, Rune Crab, and an Inscription of Abundance. Not the spice. Not there. All right. Even L. I think a reasonable assumption is there might be box hoppers in D&D. Because we were just talking about box toppers, and Rocky's like, hey, like, don't sleep on D&D. Alright, Aura, the grass, 
Squid, Hellhound, River Glide Pathway, Red Worm, Out the fetch lands, fetch land for Stephen L. RIP points. No, sorry, Neroxis. Skyclave Relic, Arc Priest, Scoot Swarm, Aloth, and a Forex Showcase Skyclave Shade. Steven L. Last pack. Guys, I can't believe we're still opening Zenicar Collectors. You know what I just realized? We've been opening these for like almost nine months. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Relic Robber, Branch Off Pathway, Canopy Bailoth, Shade, Belladar. Here we go. That's gorgeous. Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients. Dude, the rares... The, the fetch are the rare slot. I think that's nuts. I think that's nuts. Okay. Alright. And let's go to Timmy B with the last pack. Is there a chance we still get something? I think there's a chance we still get something. Here we go. Foily boys. Yeah, getting a foil fetch land is probably just the best feeling, you know? Eldar, Pickaxe, Pathway, Ox. Okay, alright, Foil Extender Thieving Skydiver. Not bad. I know, those foil planeswalkers, imagine how many of them have been pulled. Just to get these fetchy fetchies. You know what I mean? Alright. Box topper time. Wait, that that was a bad pull, the thieving skydiver. All right, the first topper. Here we go. Oh my gosh, windswept heath. Another fetchy fetchy. Foil extended art is... I have to imagine it's the $5 one. I only care for fetchy fetchies. Alright, here. Alright, Francis sent me a message. Aspire Garden. Alright. The Spire Garden is going to go to MJ, and Steven Luckman is going to get both the Marsh Flats and the Windswept Heath. Congrats, Steven. You definitely won that box opening. Right. Oh, boy. What a chill night. Chill night. We have another CMR battle. Peace out, 36, 360 people are about to raid Stormwind and Wild Classic. Oh, that's crazy. Alright, see you Nathan. That's, uh, that's something I don't know. No idea what that means, but, oh, I know what Stormwind means. Hey, Michael. I'm still here. Yeah. That's so sad that your friend paid... $70 for the foil showcase on that.
Daddy needs that brand new Lotus in his collection to his time to do it. Alright, we'll do the same prediction we just did on the last one, okay guys? Let's divvy up these packs. Pack a dilly. Pack number one. Crazy, $12 for a Scalding Tarn when it was in Standard. Who would have thought? Seriously, who would have thought? Revenant, Armored Sky Hunter, First Rare, and a nice little Mythic here. Jessica Thrice Reborn. Nice little pack one for Tiger Dilly. All right, pack number two. He really needed that. He loved the art and made a commander deck, but when he got four days later, I tried to warn him. That's so sad. That's like the biggest way to get someone to quit your game. Is just to ban something so... Like... Like, so quickly. You know what I mean? That's That really feels bad. Alright, Francis. Six dollar Misty's. Oh my gosh, what? I guess before Shocklands came out, they really weren't seen as that good. I, I don't know. Here we go. Port of Ire. Oil Obeka. Missy was trash back in the day. Yuji sucked. <laughs> That's so weird. What a weird concept. Simic. Not being good. Such a weird concept. All right, here we go. Product Hex, Sangir, Elegeth, Oil Interpret the Signs. Brasa, let's go. Oops. DJP61, thank you so much for the follow. So yeah, to me, I think it's a there's a pull factor and a push factor. I don't think it's like, if Flesh and Blood wasn't a thing, you know, people would stick around on Magic. But, but there is a pull factor on Flesh and Blood, as well as a push factor that Wizards, you know, does. So, all right, Irasa. Come on. Steer Command. Clark. Nimrus. Oil Dispeller's Capsule. Hey, okay. Emmy. Here we go. Got a mythic. I mean a majestic. Okay, Corsair. <laughs> Albert's like trying to reason with you. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Man Beacon. It's Okay Corsair. Three dollars and thirty cents. Okay. That's something. Tiger Dilly. Here we go. Oh! A tutor! 
A Tiger Dilly. Let's go. Choose the prediction. And sleeve it up. All right. Let's go. All right. Next pack for Tiger Dilly. Looks like Daddy's gonna get a tutor. That sounds doubly innuendo. All right, here we go. Nevi's disc and a bunch of other stuff. Francis. Holy moly. I mean, you're on a roll. You have like a million points. Here we go. Blade Griff Prototype and Arumi of the Dead Tide. Francis. Next. Ooh, baby. Arumi of the Dead Tide Foil Etched might actually be worth something because it's a nice commander. All right, Francis, here we go. See it? Promise. That's it. Rasa. Let's see it. Shark. Wait, that's not shark. But I'm not going to pronounce the actual pronunciation. <laughs> shark Hunt Legend 420. Thanks so much for the follow. All right, anyways, next. Rasa. All right, here we go. Get some goodies. And we get Elvis Shredlord and a Queen. All right, Timmy says, I need Lotus, please, please. Okay, please, please. Lotus, Lotus. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah! Wrong turn. Okay, we did get Necroma. Amon Port of Ambition. Okay. Obviously in the lead is Tiger Dilly. Oops. We just gotta see if the tutor is the card to beat. Or will it be something else? Let's see. For Ursa Recruiter and Obeka. Okay. Here we go. See it. See it. Let's see it. Let's see it. It's a Magus the Order and a Zara. Okay. Cool. Well, there you have that. Francis. Tiger Daily, you're still in the lead. People gotta be a tutor, which is pretty hard to beat. Not that many cards will beat a tutor. For example, this Immaculate Magistrate will not be able to beat a Vampiric Tutor. Eric, thanks for the resubscription. Happy 11. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Oh, there's a foil rare in there. Okay, I'll go back. I'll go back. My bad, my bad. Akroma's Will. Nice. Wait, no, that there was just a rare. Uh, the foil was a workshop. I'm not here for you. I'm here for the cards. Thanks, Ericles. All right, Rasa. Let's go. Here we go. 
There was a prophecy tomorrow for I thought I saw. I'll check. Let me check. Oh my gosh, you were right. That was in the first pack, Francis. You were right, you were right. Sharp eyes. Maybe I'm being too sloppy here. Hopefully I didn't miss a foil lotus, you know? Here we go. Takashima's protege. All right, Irasa. Come on, Irasa. Okay. See it? We got Mnemonic Deluge. That's not the blue mythic we're looking for. Alright, Timmy. I know you want the low tie. Can we get you the low tie? Here we go. Oh, this is a dud pack. Rakshasha Debaser. MJ, I got your email. I'm going to respond to you. Let's go. Any extra CMR boxes I'd be able to purchase for opening tonight or late to the game, says Justin. You mean like a full box, Justin? Is that what you mean? Court of Cunning and a Foil Court of Bounty. All right. This one's going to go to Tiger Dilly coming in with a Vampiric Tutor. <laughs> but the oh baby okay all right well congratulations Tiger Dilly sorry everyone else thanks for participating I'm gonna grab, grab a 400 count Ooh, right here that was a very meh box. Honestly, because it had, um... So jealous of the guy. It was Steven Luckman that got both the fetches from the Zendy Collector. And Justin, yeah, sure, no problem. I can't believe you were shopping online and came across my stream. That's serendipitous. Yeah, that's hot, says Tiger Dilly. <laughs> All right. Next, we have a mystery booster that's like sort of full, but not really. And some commander draft battles that are also kind of like middling amounts of being full. 
Um. Oh, Justin, that price I quoted you is just... I'm going to send you a sealed box at that price, if that's cool with you. All right, so... This is actually kind of a good time for me to end the stream tonight. Um, I plan on... Because tonight's a short stream, I do plan on coming back to the stream tomorrow. Um, I'm looking at the... Yeah, Justin, I can send that sealed... I can get that shipped out to you tomorrow. Uh, at that price. Um, just fill out a form. Mention that you have a sealed box. You're, you're looking for the sealed box. And we talked about it. And I'll just send that over to you. Oh my gosh. Dominic, what's up? What's up? What's the super chat? Wait. Not sure if this went through. What's this commander draft all about? Dominic. Can you rephrase that question? Thank you for the super chat as well. Um... Commander draft, like the battle? Is that what you mean? Oh yeah, my flesh and blood. Okay, I'll open that. Um, if we fill like one more battle, then I'll, I'll, I'll do it. So we have a battle of one spot left. I, I can do that. But otherwise, I do plan on streaming again tomorrow. Um, just for a little bit. Make sure I, I get everyone's stuff. How do you draft, says Dominic? Oh, okay. The way you draft is this one has every single box has um, every single box has like a rules insert. Every single one has a, a rules insert. It has a draft archetypes and it has like how to draft, how to build your deck. And then like all the rules for commander battle. So instead of drafting a 40 card deck, you draft a 60 card deck. And instead of drafting um, for 1v1, you're drafting for four uh, multiplayer. Okay. Yeah, if everyone who filled out a form, who got something for today that we didn't open, we're going to come back, do another stream t tomorrow and try to get those boxes filled at that time. Okay. All right. So this is a box for me. This is box number two. Box number one was a total flop. We did not get many goodies. All right, so these boxes are dinged up and damaged. I would never want to sell these. So I'm just uh, ending their misery. Bless the polls. All right, let's go. Oh, Dominic, we don't draft on stream. We just... All we did was open the packs and whoever got the most valuable card won. Hey, Oki, thanks for the subscription. All right, here we go. We just, all we did, Dominic, was we just opened the packs and whoever's packs had the most valuable card won everything. They got to take home everything. Herbert, I do have more Monarch boxes, but these are all the ones that I'll be opening tonight. All right, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. First pack, Foil Minnowism. Beautiful. The Brocade. Double Rares. Ooh, a little majestic to start things off. Right. Next pack. <laughs> Sorry, Dominic. Didn't mean to bamboozle you. Alright, here we go. Gotta go straight. To oh! A cold foil halo of illumination! In pack number one, uh, two. Um, the cold foil, the last one, was actually pretty dang good. And this one is pretty dang good, too. So these two boxes, despite being loose, probably came from the same case. The cold foils look remarkably similar. Just in case. Okay, thank you, sweets. Okay. Oh, that was a nice, it's nice early cold foil. Fingers crossed, guys, we can get another cold foil. For those who are new, 
a cold foil is just like the etch foil process in Magic the Gathering, but it's like this metallic sheen. Do you see how only a part of the card is foil? It's very, very gorgeous. I'm a big fan of this style of foiling. One of the reasons why I dropped big bucks on this game. All right, here we go. Aether, Iron Weave, Prismatic Shield, and Endless Maw. All right. Pack number three. Let's go. Uh, Rocky, the rest of the box where I set aside were, were duds. The first pack had the Eclipse. The second pack had the... Uh, the first pack had the Extended Art Majestic. The, the second pack had the Eclipse. The rest was junk. There was nothing else in that, that box. Oh my gosh, a Hexagore! Nice little Majestic right there. Non-foil hexagore. Yeah, that bo that box was insane. That box was literally insane. What a beautiful Friday. I'm chilling, eating creme brulee ice cream and watching this break. Dude, that's awesome. That is awesome. That sounds like a great day. Now I want to eat ice cream. All right, here we go. Okay, got a foil rare here, Consuming Aftermath. Okay. And... The, the Vanguard. Two rares. My friends Ben and Jerry can help you out. Oil Warmonger's Recital. Alright, in our rares. Okay. Uh, Donnie, this is just a box. It's just a loose box that I have. Um, it was damaged. So, I decided to open it. This is likely the last box that I opened tonight. Um... It's likely the last thing I open tonight, which is great because I do need to end the stream a little bit early. I have to be awake by like 7 a.m. tomorrow. Ooh, Foil Majestic. We'll take it. Home of Torment. All right. I do already have the copies I need of that, so... Not so great for the fact that I'm trying to find Majestics I need for gameplay, but, you know. Uh, I have to run some errands tomorrow morning. Rocky. Box is down to 250 now? Really? Dude, I'm in. I'm in. Give me some $250 boxes. Oh man. TCG low is 427 Alright, here we go. Here we go. Foil Illuminate. Keeping Shadows and a Muscle. <laughs> Alright, next. Alright, here we go. Okay, Foil Dread Screamer, Gauntlet, Seeping Shadow, and a Beast Hulk. Next. Alright, here we go. We got our Foil Rare, Dimensional Gateway, Halo. Two illusionist rares. The first copy of Parable of Humility that I've opened. Of course, this is also the third box that I've ever opened for myself, so it's not exactly like I have a lot of Monarch singles. 
All right, here we go. Oil Warmonger's Recital. Oh, I do need to open a Phantasmal Footsteps. Do need to open that so that I can play uh, Prism. You and the rest of us? Yeah. Here we go, we have a captain's call. Time skippers. And... Guys, I gotta take this message. You pulled one of your library. <laughs> That's so nuts. Congrats. Here we go. Did I just? I just. I'm. I'm so silly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Next pack. All right, friends. Let's pull something spicy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's a take flight? Rares. Okay. All right. Last half of this box. Yo, Michael. M.A. Hugh, thank you so much for sponsoring this battle. We will do that battle after this. And pound for pound. Here we go. Blue pound for pound. Ironhide helm. And two rares. Okay. Here we go. Cross the line, Ironhide Helm, Captain's Call, and a plow through. Right. Hey, Peyton! Dude, just seeing your name makes me smile. What's up? Happy Friday, man. Or Saturday, if it's already Saturday. No, it's Friday for you. It's Friday for you still. All right. Just opening a box for the good old self. Here we go. We have a rise above foil. Eat their iron weave, full reaping, and a beast hulk. Gosh, this is not a good box either. <laughs> these both of these boxes were terrible. Like actual terrible so far. Col common cold foil and just a handful of majestics. Um I'm I mean that's what I want. I want the majestics. Minnowism, Halo, Seek Horizon, and A, hey, speaking of Majestics. Hey, got your money, um, M.A. Hugh, you're all set. You will be in the next battle. Militia, Lunar Type Plunder, Blinding Beam, Oil Blood Tribute, Dream Weavers, and Endless Maw. It's true, any pack could have the library. 
That is true. Not going to deny that at all. Here we go. Unworldly Bellow. Dreamweavers. Plow through. And Taz Mephi. Next pack. We got a rare pulping, iron hide plate, unhollowed rights, and another majestic. Oh, I have so many copies of this majestic. I don't need this one. Oh well. I uh, have gotten no new playable majestics from this box. Oh, I'm so sad. Maybe I gotta buy singles, guys. Maybe that's the way to go. No, I think these two boxes have just been abnormally bad. So, variants will get ya. All right, here we go. Mon Majestics, come on. Nope, double rare. All right, four packs left. Yeah, so uh, Michael, the way it's gonna work is if you win, uh, there's no additional shipping, but I'm not gonna ship all of the cards. I'm gonna take out some of the bulk commons. Like, it'll be most of all the rares, all the foils, all the rebirth, um, all the uncommons, but not the bulk commons. That makes sense? Just because those aren't worth shipping. Those are actually really expensive to ship. I don't mind shipping to Germany. I'm just letting you know. I'm going to take out a lot of the bulk commons. Yeah, Bonnie, it's it, it's how it goes. It's how it goes. Got a blood tribute. Ebb unfold. Rise above. Howl from beyond. Last two packs. Here we go. Ooh. All right. Any cold foil from Mike's collection. Let's go. Anything. 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 Deeping shadows. Majestics. 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 No. <laughs> this is like the same formula. Four majestics. One foil majestic and a common cold foil. Here we go. <laughs> Albert, I'm so excited for you. Holy moly. All right. Here we go. I'm just going to cut straight to it. No, Foil Express Lightning. Okay. That's Path. Majestic! Home of Torment. Well, this entire box actually didn't really have anything helpful for me. Big bummer. Um, Home of Torment is one of the few Majestics I already have enough copies. In fact, we got one last box too. I'll pour one out for you. Hey, what's up, Crackapacka? How do I get in on this action? This is exciting, says Dominic. Um, my YouTube description has like uh, like the sponsor form. It has all the prices, how to send money, all those details. All right, that box was a sad, sad box. I think the saddest part is I wanted some good majestics and didn't get those. That's the sad part. That is the biggest sad part. Okay. Always next box. Yes, yes, yes. Always next box. The only good thing I can say is both of these cold foils are pretty good centering. So, it's at least that. Always oh, some silver lining. That's a silver lining. Okay. 
We're going to do another Commander Legends draft battle. And that will be the last thing we do for the night. Hey, Crackapaka, we pulled one foil Talisman of Dowsing today. And uh, people theorize that it's the reason why it's going up in value is because it was short printed. All right, here we go. Alejandro, Rasa, Francis, and M.A. Hugh. Coming in with the battle. Good night, Albert. All right, let's do another prediction, my friends. We're gonna get the spice. Here we go. So, for those new to the battles, each person gets six packs, and whoever opens in their packs the most valuable card wins everything. Four may enter, but only one will win. All right. Divvy up these packs. Three, four, five, six. All right. Let's go, let's go. Alejandro. Act number one. Hope to see that Lotus. No, seriously, Dominic. I hope to see that Lotus too. This is the third box we've opened tonight. All we've seen so far is a tutor. All right, pack number one. Aurora Phoenix. Iktekic Salvage Splicer. Alejandro, pack number two. Hey, what's up, Francis? Francis, sad news, you did not win the first two battles that you were in. Body of Knowledge, Gnostro, more valuable card, Oil Training Center. M.A. Hugh. Uh, Francis, I didn't see that. Didn't see that. All right, here we go. Don Glade Regent. Our first rare in that first pack. And Mayhew, pack number two. Eh. Go. Frenzied Saddle Brute. A Commander's Plate. And Kamal. Right, lots of mythics there. Not the most valuable mythics, but there are two mythics in there. Oh my gosh, that's so good, Francis. Cold foil majestic. All right, here we go. Port of Grace, Ghost, and Livio for Irasa. Act number two. 
we go. Bow Breacher! Or Irasa. Likely the most valuable card we've pulled so far. I think this training center is probably 15. Can I get a price check from someone in chat? EY in advance. Next pack. Here we go. Bolt of Champions for Francis. Okay, not bad. A little rare action. Okay, let's see. Oil Training Center. About $8. Okay. Francis. go our rare is a keeper of the accord a full commander sphere there it's a rare alejandro Let's go Seraphic Greatsword. So it's a little bit disappointing to see all these mythics uh, that are not that valuable getting pulled. We want the big mythics. The big money mythics. Let's go. Here we go. Man Beacon, Bell Borka, and Nevi. Let's straight three rares in a row. All right, MAHU. Looks like Irasa is still leading with the foil hull or the, the non foil hull breacher. Here we go. Laboratory Drudge. Got a foil rare here. Lathiel. A foil court of ambition. Hey, that's something. It's something. MAHU. Coming in. Pack number two. You got the mana drain! Okay, so that prediction was kind of lame, but... Drain for MAHU! That almost guarantees you a win, unless someone pulls the foil drain, lotus, or a foil lotus, so... That's a spicy one, guys! That's a spicy one! Rasa, you were in the lead! Alright. Well, that whole breacher... Does not hold a candle. That was uh Yeah, the whole breacher does not hold the candle to a mana drain. First drain that we've seen of the night. Excellent. Excellent. Here we go. Rings. Right. Francis. Break box so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drain makes it the, makes the box great. That's for sure. Francis, what do we got for you? Kolfenor. Again. Right. Francis, pack number four. Go. Oh my gosh, Francis got the opposition agent. I've seen a box one by opposition agent. Not this box, but I've seen it happen before. Right, Alejandro. Next pack. So this pack, this box is nuts. Hole breacher, mana drain, opposition agent, foil training center. Lots of good pulls. Lots of good pulls. And I feel like you know, a training center at eight dollars is not is like pretty low. Alejandro coming in with a spectator seating. It's Alejandro. Last pack. There's really just very few cards that can win at this point. I can beat the drain. There's Lotus, Foil Drain, Foil Lotus. Right? Bio Waste Blob. Okay, Mayhew, here we go. Yeah, this box got the both the good rares 
as well as a mana drain. So it's looking super good. Another undergrowth stadium. Not bad. Plenty of the rare lands being pulled. And a huge last pack. Jessica's will is all we need. Ooh, is that one crept up a lot? All right, so double rare here. Court of Ire. Odama of the East Tree. Rasa, let's go. Here we go. Maul's Will. Rasa next. Here we go. Staff of Domination and a Yearlock. Okay, well, it's not gonna be Alejandro. It's not gonna be Arasa. Final boss, Francis, let's go. Who's winning? Asked Francis. Francis, Mana Drain, Opposition Agent, Hull Breacher. M.A. Hugh is winning. Wait, this one, this has a print line. I'm gonna make sure to ship this to you. If you like misprints, that's a cool misprint. All right, Phyrexian Triniform, got a Mythic. And Archelos. And the very last pack. For the good old Francis. Here we go. Training center again. All right. That was actually a really nice box. Going to MA Hugh. Sorry, Francis. Francis, we're not able to do all the battles that you wanted today. We are going to come back tomorrow. Um, congrats, MA Hugh. I will be working on shipping your stuff. Um, this includes shipping of just the, the, the basically the hits. Rares, all the uncommons, unless they're just like really bulk. Like, I know they're not playable uncommons. Um, and all the foils. All right. So congrats. That was a just kiss excellent box. Um, thank you guys for tuning into tonight's stream. And may Hugh, thank you for being a first time sponsor. You got that first time battle luck. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Honestly, around the same time. So 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, or basically in about 19, 18-ish hours. Hey okay, guys. Love you guys. Thank you for supporting my streams. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, Sandwell's a big rare.